One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Welcome back to the Racial Draft Podcast. I am your host, Michael Ford. I am joined by my co-host, Kia. Hey, what's up? And I am joined by a gaggle of guests this week. Um, first off, from the Jewish delegation, Annie. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, <laughs> fangirl smash. Hello, hello, hello. Also joined by our Fantasy Comics League guru and uh, from the white delegation, Sean. Hey, how's it going? Joining us from Canada. I got, I got nothing quippy. It is so cold up here. My brain doesn't work anymore. That is quippy enough. And we're joined by a very special guest. From where, where do you want to claim? Where do you want to claim? Uh, that's where I'm claiming. That's where I'm from. From the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Oh, okay. I thought you were from Uptown. Representing... I'm not from Uptown. I'm here, Uptown. I'm definitely from downtown. Okay. Well, that is Hello. our very special guest, Elizabeth. She is Hola. representing the Black delegation, but not in, <laughs> and it, not with any power within the Black delegation. But that's fine, you know. <laughs> The delegation like runs the, the delegation runs deep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me not get you in trouble or you're on your very I don't know how politically incorrect you guys get. Uh, we get we get pretty incorrect in all ways. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know black women are having a moment with their political power. Uh I, I've heard of I've heard. <laughs> something about Howard. Love it. <laughs> and here I am. I was told on Twitter. Head. I was told on Twitter that when black women get power, that means that necessarily black men are diminished. So how, would you, <laughs> how, how do you feel diminishing me, Elizabeth? I'm sorry. I, my apologies, Mike. I'm sorry to, sorry to have diminished you. <laughs> but let's just jump in. You know, there's we there's a little bit of nerd news this week. It was quieter last week, but we had we had some. One of the big, we'll say, news is that we finally got a... Um, a, a date for the premiere of the MCU television show, um, WandaVision. A lot of people thought that was going to be dropping any minute now. It's actually going to happen on January 15th. And I am so, so looking forward to it. So excited. So excited for the chaos mm -hmm. magic. Did you, did you happen to catch the little mini trailer, Liz? I did not. Uh, well, yeah, it was... Did it you was... see the look of... So yeah, there was a little little mini tip, mini trailer, but the highlight of it was that they told us exactly when it was dropping. I know Sean, you were a little disappointed at the fact that it was coming out in January and not December. I'm actually I'm okay with it. I kind of like that we had a year off the MCU. Everybody was like it reached a capstone. And I like that we got the full year to reset because if we got in Black Widow like three months after, I don't know. I felt it felt too soon. I don't know. I was kind of fine with it. I I would have been fine if we got stuff this year. I would have been fine if everything was Disney Plus this year, though. That that would have been yeah. my preference. Um, if there were no movies and there were just Disney Plus shows. And who the hell called Wanda getting to be the kickoff for Phase Four? That went from Black Widow to Falcon and Winter Soldier to Wanda Maximoff. Yeah, I mean, I it's hope gonna... they're not. I hope they're not sacrificing her on the altar. But out of all four of those shows, um, I'm I'm really looking forward to WandaVision. I've shipped them since I was a little girl, so <laughs> I am excited. Well, I I have to admit I'm not a huge Scarlet Witch fan, but you know I also That's think that That's because you've been spoiled by Brian Michael Bendis's warped ableist vision of her. Why yes, I do have strong opinions about <laughs> this. <laughs> and I will expand, but anyway. Well, um I'm but like I was saying, I mean, I'm a little looking forward to, you know, kind of keeping my my mind open and seeing what marvel's vision it you know is um obviously the way they left it 
between Wanda and the Vision was very tragic. And we're going to see whether it's going to be more tragedy or is going to be some hope. Kia, do you have any thoughts about uh, Wanda Maximoff and the Vision? Uh, hopefully it's something worth watching. Yay! Have you be. ever fallen in love with a piece of technology? Can I just say that I think I think that most women have, and that's yes, because yes. men, I call that's them Bobby. Because men consistently <laughs> fall short consistently. Here, here, you are off, <laughs> here, here, you are off your game today. I was fully expecting you to take the ball and run with it. I well, then, <laughs> I think that's part of my technology, but uh, no, I I'm I'm trying to be good. It's it's probably because Liz is here. I'm trying to like act normal. No, please don't be. Please don't be good for me. <laughs> All right, I'm coming with Back it. Up. You, guys, All right. you guys know, you guys know it's about to go down. I have Kia's back whenever whenever she fails to to come up with the Uber quip. I'll I'll do Thank my you, best. Annie. Not, not as you. well as her. It's so nice to have three women on the podcast today. I know. It's it's normally way too broed out in here, and they all call in at the same time, and it's just like ridiculous. So I'm so glad you're here, Elizabeth. Well, Our chesticles out, outmatched the boys. Yes. Well, there was, I tried, there was <laughs> one, there was one week that I tried to organize it so that every guest was going to be a woman, including Liz, but Liz bailed. So, oh, Liz, was uh, I fucked up. You know, and then, and then once, and then once there was one bail, there was another bail, and all of a sudden it turned into a big sausage fest. Wow. Like, Wait, like, is Sean putting let's on let's his wig right Wait a second. <laughs> When we had that, when we had that all woman episode, the dudes kept calling in that day, all of you. And it was just like such a train wreck. <laughs> and a cop block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll try to do better in season two. Um, we will also, we've also been joined by a very special guest from all the way in California from the Latinx delegation, Martine. <laughs> Martine. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Hi, everybody? Just got off of work. All right, so we're just getting in. We were just we were talking about the WandaVision mm -hmm. uh, premiere date for uh, early 2020. I mean, early early 2021. Mm -hmm. um, the yeah, other so. piece of news that is much less important is that we're going to get another Chris in Thor: Love and Thunder. Everybody's mm -hmm. fourth favorite MCU Chris. Uh, even though there are only three Chris's in the MCU. Chris Pratt, <laughs> he will be joining Chris Hemsworth in Thor Love and Thunder to the surprise of hardly anyone. Why does that sound like a porn? That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's intentional, Kia. Taka Watiti. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. <laughs> He's, you got to get in there before Axel Braun. Why don't you throw does. in the Pratt? I guess it's like all porn from there on. You know, you got to take the, you got to take those names before before the 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 uh, parody people take the names. <laughs> um, we also got a little bit of casting news from the John Cena spinoff of a movie appearance that he hasn't made yet. He's going to get the show Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Yeah. Or, so that's a character mm -hmm. he's going to be playing in the Suicide Squad sequel, requel, reboot-ish movie that know. should be coming out. That is so I ridiculous mean... that he's getting a spinoff. There are like two women in James Gunn's 13 member team or something and out of all the characters to get a spinoff already on HBO Max or wherever it's going to air we get Peacemaker I it's just like it's such a bro fest it's so I mean, gross does that have anything to do no. with his like no he's a character because <laughs> I'm like mm, I mean eh, that could be a good movie <laughs> did you ever see that movie was it train wreck was that the one that he was on yes oh yes i did i watched that put it on pause maybe took some screenshots i don't know but yeah yeah i know exactly what you're talking about uh, well okay good because i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> but um i just know that, that yes, he had a, i just know you're he had a very memorable it. you told me how you did the same thing <laughs> i just know he had a very memorable scene in that movie and you know you you know i uh, knowing you i figured you had the skinny but um. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's on Thor, DVD. 
So are you a John <laughs> yes, Cena fan? Yes, kids, I said do do. <laughs> are you a John Cena fan, kids? Um in train wreck, yes. Fair. Yeah, I mean, he my... was good in train wreck. He was funny. I support Kia. He was very funny in train wreck. Yeah. Yeah, my thinking on the situation. I mean, like that... him, him as a person, I'm mm -hmm. not sure because I don't know him. You know. I'm just very frustrated with this upcoming suicide film in terms of gender balance and in terms of just, you know, black, indigenous, and people of color. There's it's just ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure I second it's that. Ridiculous. Annie. I second that. Ridiculous. Yeah, my big my 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 biggest um frustration mm -hmm. when it comes to spin-offs was that I, a lot of people were clamoring for Journey Simulette to get a spin-off of her black um her, not Canary. sorry, black canary character black. from Birds of Prey. And exactly. you know, and at the time it had not been broached the idea of there being characters who were in the movies getting uh spin-offs on HBO Max. So he got he gets to be the first one. Now I acknowledge that she's had a very good year this year with Lovecraft Country, and I believe that's coming back for season two. So, we in, hope so. so it might be a scheduling thing. You know, John Cena's all over the place. He seems to have no problem working. You know, he's following in the Rock's footsteps in a lot of different ways and exposing himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sean, did you have something that you wanted to add? Yes, it's James Gunn to blame. Um, uh, first off, I wanted to say though, off the, the representation thing, I totally, I get it. However, if I were James Gunn, a white man making a movie where I was about to kill off most of my cast, that's not the, I, I kind of understand why he stacked it the way he did. I imagine most of those white men are going to die. It's a James <sighs> Gunn film. They will not die. Uh, maybe a good portion of them will, but James Gunn. It has his has his thing. He reached deep into obscure canon, and I I, I don't think he's going to kill off everyone. I disagree. But pray continue. I mean, it's possible. Okay. I mean, I, I no. I'm just like, but um, James Gunn was like, this is the story I wanted to tell. Like, uh, I was thinking about it the other day because um, Blade with Marshala Ali, like. It sounds like he basically willed that into existence. Right. You know, there was no plans for Blade. And then he was like, yo, I want to be Blade. And they were like, cool, we want you. You're going to be Blade. Wait, back up. It sounds back like up. James Gunn, too. He was black, like, this is black. the story I want to. Hold on. But nerd, nerd Twitter, nerd Twitter, and black nerd Twitter specifically had been clamoring for Mahershala Ali to be Blade. So way before Mahershala Ali said, I want to be Blade. Right. Okay. But Mahershala Ali asking for it is what got it done, though. After there was a lot of momentum build up on social media. And I think that, again, we've we've established that Marvel and DC pay attention to us. But anyway, go on. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. I think I think stars I think stars are what really yeah. move the needle in terms of projects getting. That was the point oh, I was yeah. making too. Like, this is James Gunn. If we're pissed off, we're pissed off at James Gunn because this was a story yeah. he wanted to tell when he was given carte blanche to tell anything he wanted. He went, let's make a John Cena pacemaker. Because well, I also think he wanted to tell. I, I also think it's John Cena too. You know, I think that there's the idea out there that John Cena is a star. You know, from probably from there's his wrestling that. days, and even though he's not. Uh, a leading man in terms of having movies under his belt that have that have made a lot of money at the box office. I think their thinking is that we have this this star type person with a fan following that can be the face of our series. And they and I think they felt that the combination of how cheap it, it probably was to get him um, compared to someone with a similar Q rating and his availability, his willingness to be available was probably another thing that animated it. And yeah, of course, he's a white dude, you know? Like you're the, you're the you're, you're you as a representative of the white de delegation, you have to acknowledge that there are some benefits that come from being a white dude in Hollywood. I don't think <laughs> I've ever been represented on a screen. That's that sounds ridiculous. This is this is the kind of this is the kind of talk that I need and more from in season 2 
Sean. No more of this. No more of this good guy. No more of this good guy stuff. I mean, you made me a representative. <laughs> if you put other people on my team and they they hinder me, there's nothing I can do. Hey, I have to say something though because James Gunn completely aware that John Ostrander's run of Suicide Squad exists with Bronze Tiger having one of the best character arcs in all of sequential literature. He looked at that run and turned around and walked the other way for something just completely different. And I'm sure it'll be fun, but you know, I lost faith in James Gunn after Guardians of the Galaxy 2, so we'll see. Wow, I didn't realize you didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Where they took Mantis, uh, an, a badass woman character who was the celestial Madonna or, or, or was gassed up to be and thought herself that she was going to be and turned her into a shy, you, you know, weak character that was made fun of the entire film in a really mean way. I have feelings, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them, Annie, you tell them. So, I mean, so there were, were some casting, there were some castings for that Peacemaker series that I, the afore, aforementioned <laughs> Peacemaker series. Uh, one of them was Robert Patrick, he of the T2. Um, he will be playing a character named Augie Smith. You know, mind you, I don't know a lot of these characters. I do know this character, Adrian Chase, the vigilante. He will be played by Chris Conrad. Uh, there's also going to be a character named Amelia Harcourt, and she's going to be played by Jennifer Holland. And also, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen Orange is the New Black, but uh, Daniel Brooks will be playing an undisclosed... Oh, no, sorry. It initially, it was an undisclosed role, but this character's name is Leoto Adebayo, who I believe is not, does not have a counterpart in the comics. So who knows where... Um, who knows where they'll, they'll take the character. What Martin, character was she in Orange is the New Black? Uh, what was the character's name? Someone help me out. Liz, did you watch Orange is the New Black? I came back to help you with the black actress. Tasty. <laughs> Tasty, thank you. Okay. I came to play my role. The black I woman, cor black woman correspondent. <laughs> 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 Love it. <laughs> yes, Tasty from uh, Orange is the New Black. So, um, you know, she, I think she's she's on Broadway now, isn't she? But um, and she has a song. Does she? Yes, go on YouTube and you can play it and see. Okay, well, I might add that to the to the podcast as the outro song if I. I just had a song. thought that if if we're getting a Peacemaker series, I want to see him go up against. The Crimson Avenger 2. I think you keep talking about my technology. Who is, who is, <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Kim. He'll be going up what? against the oh, Crimson Scott, Avenger. Literally going by <laughs> uh, that was Ikea. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Any any more uh, any more jokes, Kia? Any more? Uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, no nothing. Say, <laughs> the Crimson Avenger Two is uh, is a black woman, and she hasn't been used in like ten years or something, or ten plus years in the comics. It would be awesome to have her come up against Peacemaker. Kia's technology. Uh, I, I believe <laughs> I believe she will overcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> All right. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so there's another story. Um, it's about the Hawkeye series. Now I know Jeremy Renner is a controversial figure around these parts, but um, his character, Clint Barton, as many know, is deaf in the comics. And they confirmed that he, well, sorry, it was not confirmed. It was rumored, but heavily, uh, heavily implied that they, because they've cast uh, a doctor who specializes in, let me find the story. This is from our friends at Murphy's Multiverse. He will be, they're recasting an audiologist who will be treating, who will be, who will be treating Clint in the show. And there was some speculation that it was, it's also going to lead to the introduction. And we, we, there were other stories that Echo would be introduced and this sort of supports that idea. Oh, whoa, um, that's awesome. 
So am I gonna have to Google audiologist? <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just look it up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay. Well, while well, well, everyone's Googling audiologist, <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, there's, there's very strong uh, hints that not only will Echo be playing a prominent role in this show, but they will also be exploring Clint's um, deafness. And I know yeah. that there is a lot of people in uh, various aspects of both comics, Twitter, and the uh, deaf community that were very strongly advocating for this. So I'm very happy that and also seems like. Also, in Marvel's, Indig Marvel's Indigenous Voices, number one, just came out. And uh, there was a huge Echo story illustrated by Rashild Avitra, my buddy, my sis. Mm -hmm. And she's an Indigenous Tongva illustrator from Los Angeles who's been in comics forever. She has a special tie to the character. So this could not be better news. And I hope she's thrilled. I know she's thrilled. I'm going to go message her as soon as we're done. And that's a good segue. Speaking of indigenous uh, people, we had our final, um, I suppose, yeah, final versus battle of season Woo! one, um, <laughs> unless someone would like to make a challenge right here and right now. But um, there was the indigenous Punisher. Yes, I like to rematch um, the Latinx team. <laughs> Uh, yeah, me too. I'll throw out a challenge. With actually <laughs> and actually pick pick people this time. No, no, we're talking about we're talking about the single character challenge. You know, those inf yeah. those involve writing stories, Kia. I don't I don't know if this if that's for you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so yeah. true. Yeah, together yeah, you yeah, and I be be in novels in season two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as I, as I copy and paste, you be like, her stories don't make sense. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> Thank you, blog. <laughs> I changed a word. It's not plagiarism. <laughs> but it got pretty contentious over these last few hours as uh, the votes uh, rolled in. The, the chat was just for the people who are listening on the show, uh, the listeners, as, you, as it were. Um, the indigenous uh, Native American uh, Frank Castle, the Punisher challenged the red hood the black red hood uh jason todd and cases were made uh votes were cast and i have not yet looked at the final score but there it has been there has been a poll and um before i look at the answer does anyone want to weigh in as to who they think should have won yes <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat Annie to the punch. It's going to be the Punisher. The Punisher should have won. Beat you to the punch, Annie. Well, you and I completely agree. <laughs> you and I completely agree on this because the only arguments that the Black delegation has brought is that Jason was trained by the Bat family and has Bat, Bat privilege. privilege. That's it. Yeah. They have no other That's argument. It. Meanwhile, I have 30 plus years of reading the Punisher under my belt, about 1,500 single issue of Punisher in my apartment, plus tons of collected graphic novels. Plus, I mean, I'm a huge Punisher fangirl, but that's not why I'm voting for Frank. I'm voting for Frank because he has 40 years, 40 pounds, multiple languages, and a flamethrower on Jason Todd. All Jason Todd has is being a Gary Stu. <laughs> wow. A good one either. Strong I mean, words, strong, strong a words. A clown beat his head in. And Frank Castle is a fucking force of nature. You and think, someone, you think the yeah. Red Hood's going to protect him? <laughs> and as someone else pointed out on Twitter, as Randy pointed out, or someone else pointed out, all you have to do to kill Jason Todd is dial a phone number. That was, that was, that was low. That was low. That's great. Why did Jason win the poll, though? Because he's got bad privilege. Exactly. Exactly. I don't really think people understand Frank. I really don't. I well, really you know, don't Frank. Frank, Frank is really not like having a good year. Frank is not having a good year because of all of the uh, Blue Lives Matter and uh, Proud Boys people who have appropriated a symbol. Right. Um, so you know, it's all it's right. a it's a pretty it's a pretty rough time for the Punisher right now, <laughs> and I think that. That there is maybe a little bit of that too. People don't necessarily uh, feel at attached to the Punisher like like they have right. in other in other years. 
So things, you're like, admitting <laughs> that it clouded their judgment. <laughs> I think it. I think it made <laughs> think people more. I think it made people more open to the possibility of of Punisher taking an L, um, because yeah. they haven't. You know, he hasn't been forefronted that much in comics recently. You know, he's been. You know, he had a run in uh, Rosenberg uh, for a couple years back, where he was, it, you know, drastically powered up, but it. But in his normal form, kind of. You know, was 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 controversial. And I think that I think that that controversy, while you know, on the all, on the other side, Jason Todd was being presented in, in a much more heroic light, and they were giving him opportunities to shine alongside superpower characters, and that those opportunities, those highlights, the the, uh, the enhancing of his character and making him, you know, what he what he used to be is, if a, a bit of a Punisher clone. And I think they've done a lot over the last couple years to get him out from under that that uh, label, and and I think that that made people more sympathetic to his virtues rather than you know the ways that you could p perhaps pull him down. He doesn't have control over his emotions, and Frank does, and that's why Frank's going to beat him. I mean, didn't Jason just break down and cry in the comics three weeks ago and shoot someone? because a joker taunted him. I mean, it's like Frank just doesn't do that, you know? Like Frank will find out what his psychological Achilles heel is and exploit it to lethal opportunity. I mean, I think that you, you raise good points, but I think in the scenario that was laid out by the Native American delegation, none of that was, was factored in because the situation he, he gave was, he just showed up, met him in an alley, and they fought toe to toe which to me isn't much of a home field mm. advantage. He actually fought him in Gotham. So he allowed the, he allowed the bat privilege to take full effect. He, it he, doesn't matter. It's a road, he fought a road game. You don't fight road games, you know? <laughs> he should have had, you know, he should have spent months planning meticulously and he could have, with using a sniper ability, taken him out from 1200, miles, 1200 yards away. Isn't that what I literally suggested? 1200, 1200. That's right. He, <laughs> yes. you know, but, but instead he said, no, Frank Castle's going to walk right up to the Red Hood and challenge him, put his dukes up <laughs> and, and face him in hand to hand combat. And I don't know why you do that. So, however, the voters, democracy works. There will be no recounts. There will be no fraudulent votes. Um, <laughs> Are you sure? Are they legal votes? <laughs> They're, sorry, yes. Sir. Only, count legal Only votes. counted legal votes. And the I, orange. I, I have to tell you, I voted from Canada. I don't know if that disqualifies me. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, this is, this is the kind of talk that's going to lead to this ballot, making it all the way up to the Supreme Court. Exactly. Or my cronies. We shut one. us down. <laughs> Reminder that I have an FCC broadcast license, and this is the kind of stuff that gets us shut down. So I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. I do have an FCC license. We're not going to get shut down. <laughs> I'm like, we shouldn't we have gotten shut down a couple episodes ago? And I'm saying, this. yeah, I, don't say it again, Kia. <laughs> I got a I got a letter from the Secret Service that I will not open. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> but uh, 57 votes in total were cast. So not a lot. I mean, if you have 55 friends, you could have turned this whole election around. This whole election around. Um, 63% for the winner and 37% for the loser. Red Hood, Jason Todd, a win for the Black delegation. Let's be honest. The Black delegation needs a win. Um, well, so, I think the black delegation needs to actually put forth some effort. Then maybe they would win. That's why oh, we have it. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not only. I'm sorry. Just you know, winner here. Just speaking. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, Kia. It's only a little bit more time. But... I know. I'm, I'm riding this wave. She, <laughs> no, riding. Kia worked hard. She gets to ride this wave into the middle of season two. You know, I have Kia's back. Girl, I'm behind Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, that's extended time. I like this. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, I'm no, hyping you see, Kia up. Kia will as... always be the first ever racial draft season champion. 
Like that mm -hmm. that's a title. Along multi -racial. with multiracial. Like, along with all your other titles. Thing. You'll be at some point it's gonna be like Khaleesi. You're gonna have like <laughs> a whole bunch of different titles when I introduce you. Oh my so. god. Am I a, am I the mother of racial drafting? <laughs> <laughs> the mother of drafting. <laughs> The mother is here. The mother of <laughs> Just like Pat McGrath is the mothership. Yes. Kiali <laughs> Kialisi. Kialisi. <laughs> uh, I'm changing all my screen names. On Twitter, that's what I will be. Oh, wow. <laughs> Queen yeah. of the great racial sea. Yeah. <laughs> the breaker of picks. The breaker of picks. <laughs> Let's the see, breaker of points. <laughs> Michael was like, this is where I come alive. The, the, word <laughs> the breaker of the Polynesian team. <laughs> <laughs> However, this is a good transition because although, although you did win the season long uh, FCL challenges, we've been doing uh, five on five character challenges for the last uh, six weeks. This is week seven, the final week of our head to head uh, team by team showdowns. And this week, the multiracial delegation took on the Latinx, the undefeated Latinx delegation. Oh, um, oh wait, I actually would have put in actual players if I knew they were undefeated. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Well, likely excuse. But we'll loop back around. <laughs> we'll loop back around to that. We'll make that our. We'll make that our main event. Um, Rise over here. <laughs> So no, what wait. I will <laughs> time out. Re let's redo this <laughs> real quick. Sean's here, so I could literally just pick my team now. No, 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 you can't. <laughs> the, oh, books, yeah. the books have already come out, Kia. Wait, really? girl power. We have a, we have. A I feel like here. since I am the mother, I should be able to do this. <laughs> oh, you guys! Before I forget, I just I just want to give one shout out this week to um. This week's guest star on Star Trek Discovery. Can we just yell about that just for a second? Be, who yes. acted across from Michelle Yao, who had a, finally an acting partner that just was of her caliber. And you know I love Discovery. You know I love all the actors there. But that was a masterpiece. Anyway, as you were. Um, who was the actor? I don't know yeah. Star Trek Discovery. It was yeah. David Cronenberg. Oh. The director David Cronenberg. I didn't. I didn't know he acted. It was a master class. I don't know who that acting is. in about <laughs> thir uh, in about two minutes. It was amazing. He did a scene with her, a really intense scene. Liz, Liz who's who's who is that person? Research. <laughs> <laughs> David Cronenberg, the director. Yeah. He's yeah. a horror director. He directed Scanners and uh, about a bajillion other films. I have a feeling uh, Sean you're is going to forgetting come. his most oh, important dear. aspect. He's Canadian. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are welcome. We also have Drake. I know. Again, you're welcome. <laughs> so Michelle Yao has a boyfriend in Canada. I I'm thought that, I think that those were fictitious. Um, they are. I thought that all I thought that all American Canadian relationships were fictitious. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was told. Um, all right, guys, drum roll, fake drum roll. Brrr. All right. That was a good one. So we'll Our start with we'll start with some of the lower division showdowns. The so, Native American delegation against the Black delegation. Again? Oh, it's yeah. Again. <laughs> Wait, did they did they take? Oh, I mean, like Punisher versus Jason Todd. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It was a. All right, these are the characters for the Native American delegation who yet again did not did put not, in Spider-Man. Did not put in Spider-Man. What is going oh on? God, <laughs> like, what is wrong with them? They had what one. They on had team, one they job. Never chose them. They had one job. Put in Spider-Man. That's all I had to say. I respect the power play. They're like, we have the best Marvel character, and nobody's gonna get to play him. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think, I, just wanna, I, just I think it's important to note. Yeah. Sorry, before you, before you make your point, it's important to note that Spider-Man 
had they picked Spider-Man, he would have scored <laughs> nine points. He would have scored nine points for them. That's all. That's better than the zero they probably got. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, would you Annie, would you like to make your point before I run down the scores? I forgot what my point was. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my, my snide remark just threw Annie all the way off. I was just like, going to oh. say no. I was just going to say that we might have a guest, uh, a native guest, on an upcoming episode of the podcast, and I'm sure they're going to have words about Spider-Man not being built. Well, as you were. We have yes, we have many thoughts about the different directions that the native delegation can go in season two, starting next month. Um, so liking women. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> oh, I that <laughs> so <laughs> just keep that, just keep that thought in your head. Uh, Spider-Man's nine points. Uh, their five characters were <laughs> the Hulk, Poison Ivy, Ghost Rider, Bane, and Adam Warlock. And they put up a grand total of zero points i am psychic for real oh, what really how is that how? even possible oh my goodness martine okay. call me mother I'm martine call that. me mother <laughs> no. mother mother no. mother i'm not doing that so the black delegation <laughs> the black delegation's characters were jason todd domino dazzler joker and dr doom and they put up a grand total of eight points. Oh. So by <laughs> so by <laughs> eight oh my God. to nothing, the black delegation. If they had just picked Spider Man, they would have won by one point. Losers. <laughs> there it is. All right. Our next showdown. Uh, is the Jewish delegation against the Polynesian delegation. Yeah, Our yeah, man, yeah. Oh, I, I know who won this. Obviously, the Jewish team. Duh. <laughs> the Jewish delegation's characters were Apocalypse, Moon Knight, Supergirl, Zatanna, and Starfire. <laughs> the Polynesian delegation. <laughs> the Polynesian Sorry, delegation's what? characters were Amadeus Cho, America Chavez, Sunspot, Kitty Pride, and Daredevil. Wait, first off, didn't they have Storm? They didn't pick Storm as their as one of their five characters. So should I okay. check? Should I check? Had yeah. they Whoops. had they yeah. chosen Whoops. Storm? <laughs> had they chosen Storm? Mm -hmm. Had they chosen I mean, Storm, they would have had a total of four points. points. Four points. Four points. Nobody really did anything in X of Swords this week. Yeah, they just sort of sat around while other people, um, you know, lesser characters did a lot of things. So they if I they had storm. I would be putting her up every putting her up every single week. But anyway, yeah, especially because they li literally beat Kia on the strength of Storm alone, uh, one week for Kia's. Mm -hmm. For, yeah, that when I was sick and just not it's, paying attention. Oh yeah, it's a zero. <laughs> yeah, it's just you always put you always put Aurora up always, and and especially this week where they scored a grand total of zero points. Zero points. Oh no! <laughs> and how much did we score, Team Hebrew? I am really psychic. I knew you guys won. All your points were scored by one character, Apocalypse, who put I up. Knew it. Four points. Four points. Is that why you were laughing at me, Sean? Yeah, because Sean, they had, Sean, they Sean. Had, like three characters in play this week, and they didn't play any of them. And then the character I told you was going to appear didn't show up. Supergirl didn't put in an appearance nope. this week, so I was like, all she's got is Apocalypse. The Polynesian so, should have kicked your ass. <laughs> wasn't there even a Namor sighting this week? No, yes. wait a second. If there was a mistake and Sean mistakenly told us that Apocalypse was a sure score, what happens? Well, Apocalypse did put up points. Oh, wait. So what? So it was Supergirl? Mm -hmm. yeah, Supergirl, Supergirl did not appear. She's appearing in the other Superman book coming out. There's two books coming out right now, Action Comics and Superman. I thought and she was in Superman. She's an action comic. You know, 
So you previews. Need to think, John, issue, can we though. talk about those previews? Yeah, let's. I've done this to myself because I, I drafted Damian Wayne twice, and he, I got the wrong bat book both times. <laughs> Uh, the white team was yeah. wrong. The you know <laughs> for a fantasy <laughs> comics league guru, that's not very guru ish. Yeah, it's uh, really not. I feel like we can't trust him. Uh, do over. Do okay, over. Do over. That's okay. <laughs> I, I can... So that is a win for the Jewish delegation. Another. Oh, here's a big okay, showdown. Okay. Here's a big showdown. The Asian delegation against the white delegation. What? Wow, I watched the Asian team up. won. The OG Asian team was the only for sure had at least like six characters to pick from. They didn't mm -hmm. just win, they got to pick the team in which they kicked my ass. So <laughs> so here's the question, guys. Here's what I really want to what here's what you should be asking. Mm -hmm. If I took Batman's points away. Away. <laughs> what points did they get? <laughs> could they outscore? The white delegation. Let's see. Let's I see. see. Hmm. Based on the question, probably not. I, I don't know. I, I mean, they I, probably I would. So. They probably still would have. They probably still would have beat the white delegation. I, you know, I, I'm just. I didn't do the total of that. I'm just. You know. Oh, so. Um, well, why don't you so just I, do that with your calculator? Right, no, I mean, I can do it, but I. I, I wanted. He I wanted to ask the question there. before He's I knew the guru. answer. I, I have passed on guru ship to Martin. <laughs> <laughs> so just so I just want to run down the characters this week the Asian delegation selected from their stack team Batman, Iron Man Kamala Khan, Captain Britain and Silk mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. white delegation chose even with the benefit of of their insight into what the comics uh, were coming out they chose for their lineup Flash, Punchline Damian Wayne Superboy and Batgirl. Sounds pretty lame to me. However, they had actually picked the team together before I had submitted my picks and then changed their team. So if we go off that original team, <laughs> mm. I mean, would have lost. Would have lost, but I would have been in. I would have been in the fight because they picked like three characters that weren't going to do anything. The original lineup was Batman. Well Iron Man, Kamala. Wait, how how many Emma points Frost, did Batman get this Emma week? Emma Frost and Professor X. So like, <laughs> if well, they done with that, I could have kicked their ass, maybe. Well, I respect the fact that you took your duties as the <laughs> Fantasy Comics League guru seriously, and you explained which characters should be targeted. That that is that is the kind of integrity that we expect from other delegations, not me. the white delegation. <laughs> 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 so with a grand total of 24 points the white delegation came to play 24 points 24 points wow seven for the flash 10 for punchline four for damian wayne and three for batgirl no points from superboy the Asian delegation. Okay, so how many points did Batman get? Let's yes, let's there. find out. Let's start with Batman. So Batman himself scored 16 <laughs> points. <laughs> but the Asian delegation in Batman. total scored 49 points. Oh, so if you take 26. And you're 23. close. You're so close. Wait, no, 20, no 16. 16. I said 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said twenty six. No, so so you you still yeah. would have lost handily. But how does that feel? Forty nine and twenty four, you got doubled up. <laughs> yeah. And now that, they put they threw some I D's on it. some fight, <laughs> which is better than I was expecting to do this week, to be honest. <laughs> and and now the showdown we've all been waiting for. The multiracial delegation Martin, why are you against smirking? the Latinx delegation. Because I didn't come to play, Martin. Because you know I didn't care. Because at the end of the day, I am your mother. No. Mother. No. Mother. <laughs> so, so Kia, just just for curiosity's sake, if you <laughs> if you were paying attention, which characters would you have not have chosen this week? I don't know what characters I chose this week. 
Okay. <laughs> So these are, the, are these are the characters that you chose this week. Uh, Black Widow, Harley Quinn, Captain America, Mystique, and Wonder Woman. Okay, so I would have totally taken out Mystique and put, like, Captain America. No, no, you already put Captain America. Oh, I did? Yeah. Um, um, who who did something? Didn't Captain Marvel do something? I'm, this giving, week? You, I'm giving you a huge hint here, Kia. <laughs> X man <laughs> <laughs> Magneto Cable Cable oh yeah that, that because an X means cable yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, you have a lot of X people on your team don't you I do <laughs> I think I think that well I, I already I already saw saw the scores so I'll, How I'll much name did cable get I'll name that? some uh he didn't get that much um, what about Hal? Hal scored six points. Mm-hmm. Hal would have been. Let's see. How much did Cable get? Cable only scored three points. Oh. <laughs> so why why are you making an X, Sean? I'm so confused. Because I don't think any of your other characters would have done. Although I totally forgot Hal. I never think about the Green Lantern. Oh, that's fighting <laughs> words with Martin. <laughs> <laughs> See that way. So, anyways, uh, Kia. Your team scored 33 points, led by Holy 20, crap. led by 26 points from Wonder Woman. Jeez. Holy crap! I didn't even pick my team, and I actually got into the 30s. You hear that Polynesian team? You hear that white team? You hear that? You hear that Native American team? 26 points for Wonder Woman, and seven points for Black Widow. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the Latinx delegation, however, scored 50 points. Uh, uh, 50 points. Why are you smiling, Martin? Nobody needs to see that smile. surprising to me. You know what, Martin? Your face is not that great anymore. You know, I don't like your face. <laughs> 11 I'm, points. I'm stopping the video. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 11 points for Doctor Strange. Uh-huh. Ele- uh, 12 points for Wolverine. Yeah. Seven point no, sorry, nine points for Miles Morales mm-hmm. and eighteen yeah. points for Superman. And uh, Kyle Rayner brought up the rear with. Yeah, I could afford to throw in one. Oh, <laughs> he's stunning on you. <laughs> he said, "I'm, I'm gonna beat you with four people." <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, I know he's been like he was, you know, thinking about this all season. So I'm really glad that. He got his win in. You know, I wish he had actually won when it counted. Um, But, yeah, besides that, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for you, Martin. Well played. Well played, Martin. Thank you. So give me a second to total up the final win-loss records in these head-to-head challenges. I already know. I was like trying to... Zero, two, four... Where's Annie? Any will be I'm not, I'm not gonna make the obvious joke about. What's Annie, you okay? Oh yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you guys thought. I, I don't know. I was like, I was like, I was like, Annie. I was like, Orphan Annie. The hard, the hard I'll just be open with Annie jokes after she leaves. She's like, she's like, Annie, are you okay? Someone come out tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for saving me from. You went to see Daddy Walbucks. Because <laughs> they're dark. Love you, Manny. Love you. <laughs> All right. So that is an L for the multiracial team and a win for the Latinx team. What was that again? No, I'm putting the L's and W's. The L's no, and Could you repeat w. that last part? <laughs> <laughs> That is a W for the Latinx team. Seven and O for the Latinx team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a right. win <laughs> for the Black team. They finish two and five. The Dude, white delegation. The they took their L, so they will finish five and two. Ooh. The Jewish delegation. Wait, who? 
The Me. white delegation. White. <laughs> and white. one of those wins was against you, Kia. The only two I lost to were the unstoppable juggernauts of the Latinx team and the Asian team. <laughs> but I beat one of the top three. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't I'm, win them I'm all. You know? John Snow came out what nowhere, do you expect from me? In the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? And then now Martin has dethroned you. He's brand. I was trying to think of who Martin was going to be in this analogy, but you're brand. No, isn't he? Queen, isn't he John Snow? Snow? Isn't he no, John? I'm John Snow. I took out the queen, and now you rule. Okay. Oh, so, okay. so you're okay. Well, Khaleesi does die in the end. Okay. So, so you died. <laughs> And, and I'm this taken is away by end. my dragon. All right. Congratulations, well, Brian. I'm proud of you. Well, I am I am clearly the <laughs> I'm clearly the Tyrion of this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you totally are. I mean, you just really strong and they kind of stumbled. You know things. <laughs> exactly. Sean, you don't feel like you're a Jamie Lannister? Oh, man, I just remembered how oh, poorly jealous. they wrote Tyrion's character. You guys are bringing back bad memories. Yeah, don't think of, don't think about it. I forgot about how poorly they wrote Tyrion's character that last season. Oh, yeah, God. started strong, finished weak. Just this, I feel like the racial draft is, 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 is fitting a similar structure. <laughs> so in other words, they came to, they murdered me after I conquered. That's what's really what happened. Right, and, and it really, yes. it really I went. I see it. After you set fire to, to everything. It was, everything. It, it I mean, <laughs> which, and I just want, all I was was being an overachiever. I just want to point out. Like it's mm-hmm. messed up. You see a woman in power. All she did was look, <laughs> you know, realize that she could change the whole world, and they're like, "Nah, we gotta kill this girl." So I did, uh, I, I did it for love. I did it for love. <laughs> so the Jewish delegation, they finished with three wins and four losses. True. The Asian delegation finished with five wins and two losses. Fuck you, Batman. You are... <laughs> I can uh, Yeah, agree. like, can we just take Batman out of, like, being allowed uh, to be picked how about next season? Batman, Superman, or uh, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Those okay, no, that's not the one. Wait, no, oh, no, 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 we can keep Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, no you can't really discriminate against characters. women. There's not enough they're, women to discriminate they're, against. They're only competing against each other. <laughs> like, Spider-Man doesn't even show up. Spider-Man did great this week, and he got nine points. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wonder Woman 26. And it was hey guys, we, don't, we don't call that great. <laughs> we don't, I'm sorry, as in Wonder Woman voice, we don't call that great. <laughs> the Polynesian delegation, one win, six losses. Wait, who did they win against? You. I think. <laughs> yeah, that was the week that yeah, that was the week that Storm outscored your own entire team. Oh yeah. They, oh, it was yeah. the so the black woman that they took is the one that <laughs> did everything for them. Hey, Liz, do you have any do you have I'm any thoughts about, about that? About <laughs> <laughs> do you have any thoughts about yeah, Storm yeah. about Storm being the MVP for the Polynesian team? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just gonna blame whoever didn't draft her. Who failed to draft her? That is, these, is that these are the Kia? these are the things. No, Kia is the multiracial team, the the, the top oh, the top team. So who's, who's yeah, the black I mean, team. Yeah, and I so, just and I just started reading comics last week. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is another thing that might have to change in the in the season two. Uh, better mm-hmm. better picks from the black delegation. Yeah. I don't Baby, even read comics. And the black delegation did even off story. of vibes. I'm going by vibes. <laughs> <laughs> they did too. And <laughs> the Native American delegation, they also finished with one win and six losses. But their one win came against the Polynesian delegation. <laughs> it's like rock, paper, scissors, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and with a final record of four and three. The multiracial delegation. Mm-hmm. Hey Kia. That's fun. That's hey, cool. Hey Kia. Kia. High five. Kia Lisi. High Kia five. Lisi. Know my high name. High five. No high five. High Kia five. Uh, talk to the white because the black don't want to. Oh. oh. <laughs> you know that hand joke. You know. I, I, I know. I know you can't do a high five. You only have four. 
So, <laughs> oh. so it's a shame that no, Annie. That it's a, ovaries. So it's a shame that Annie left us for a little while because I want to play a game. Um, All right. Since we have uh, four, we'll say four, and then I'll I'll, I'll step in. Uh, since we have at least four delegations represented, we I want to do a a play a play draft. It doesn't count for anything. There are no points. There's no season. This is just for the purpose. I thought you said a fun game. <laughs> of, <laughs> we're we're gonna do a mini draft. Yeah. We're gonna do a mini draft. I am going to Batman. <laughs> we're gonna do a mini draft, and I'm gonna draft for the for the delegations that are not here. Um, so we'll okay. go in the same we'll go in the same order as the as that we went went when season one. Um, oh, Batman! <laughs> wait for it, Kia. So that's multiracial no. number one Native American who will be played by me, uh, Polynesian who will also be played by me, Asian who will also. Will you be have played voices? By me. Have I am voices not going to get canceled. Okay. I am not <laughs> going to get canceled by doing a voice. <laughs> let, 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 let Liz be the black delegation. Because yes, of course. Liz is going to be the black delegation. Job. You wait this whole time. Liz was not black. Do a worse job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and if you know if Annie comes back, she can come come back and do uh, the Jewish delegation. Uh, Sean, you'll do the white delegation. Liz, you'll do the black delegation, and Martine, you'll do the Latinx delegation. And we'll 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 go as long as we can go for 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 as fun as we can have it. We're, we're I'm sorry. no no we're going to we're going to draft characters off the top of our head. But I'm here so sorry, but here but here I'm... here are who we were drafting. We're drafting non superheroes, non superheroes, non supervillains. We're drafting civilian characters. Support characters. So Trump. Oh, Why can't you let me go first? Uh, okay. Let me Trump. go you know, first. I'll start off all good. <laughs> so we're drafting comic book characters that are not are neither uh, superheroes nor supervillains. Essentially, the the civilians, the ones that potentially would not be getting drafted because they wouldn't be scoring a lot of fantasy comics league points. Okay. Um, Kia, you get to go first. I'm so confused. Okay, I know because you because you, know, you can only calculate okay, points. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Alfred Pennyworth. Nice. Oh, okay. so cool. at the gate. <laughs> right now, which of the uh, I mean, what precise racial breakdown uh, is Alfred? Is multiracial Alfred Pennyworth? Well, he has to be white because there's pennies involved. And um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know how that made sense, but in my mind it did. Um, and uh, I don't know. Oh wait, never mind. I take that back. He's Jewish. <laughs> oh, no, I, n you can make that uh, joke. No, you can yeah, make that joke. I, I can't make that joke. I can't make that joke. He's not laughing at it. All right, so he's Jewish, and what uh, else? He's Jewish, and what else, Kia? And you know what? Um, Jewish and Asian. Okay, all right. Fair enough. One of the Asians. All right, so <laughs> so Alfred Pennyworth. All right, I have, I have a clarification question. What mm -hmm. about someone who started out like normal, but then maybe they got like a bionic body part or something no like that, that, that count still counts that still counts? Still counts okay all right that still counts as a as a hero you know okay okay yeah all right go all right come me right. last i gotta go last so uh not last or second like you want to yeah i feel like yeah. you want to go earlier because yeah. One place yeah. I can pick. Like no, I mean I there's know. we we've I can't got all we, think of this as well. So I'm I'm Oh the, okay, I got one. I got yeah. one. So okay. I'm drafting for the Native American delegation. And I am going to choose um I'm gonna choose Stick from Daredevil. The guy who trained the guy who trained Daredevil and Electra and you know. Why do you feel a native de delegation should pick somebody with the name Stick? Mike. Mm. 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 
I don't know what you mean. Why don't you explain, Mike? I don't know what you mean. I mean... Should I should I save it for the black delegation? <laughs> Wait, are we just trying? Wait, are we just? Do we have to explain our job, or can we just take who we get? I mean, you can take who you get, but it's more it's more fun if you explain it. You know. Yeah, Mike, it's more yeah, fun so, if you explain it, Mike. So, so you know, as 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 we know, there's a, there's often some mysticism, not per <laughs> se, but a, but a certain there's a an aspect to daredevil which involves kind of sight you know second sight and stick is also blind and i would and i think that by having a character that maybe has a different kind of spiritual connection to a different society and different culture he might be able to bring that to uh the people that he trains and even if those characters end up not being um even if those characters end up not being native, they will have the native influence in them in their fighting style. I get to go again. <laughs> this time, this time I am the Polynesian delegation. And uh, let's see, for the Polynesian delegation, I'm going to choose. This one's gonna be hard. Do, 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 do. Don't do that. Also, <laughs> doing a shout out. Shout out to Alex Trebek. Oh yeah. yeah. R.I.P. to Alex Trebek. No, I. Ooh. This is a no, no. See, it's harder to it's hard it's harder to choose these characters off the top of their head. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna 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 go wild. I'm gonna pick. J. Jones, no, sorry, run it back, run it back. I'm going to pick uh, Genki. Um, <laughs> Genki from uh, Spider-Man, uh, yeah. Miles Morales' best friend, and he's going to be Samoan. All right. Okay. All right. For the Asian delegation, this was a, this was a, uh, a fan cast that I've had for a long time. Uh, how, how many of you have seen Crazy Rich Asians? Unfortunately. Oh, you're not a fan. You didn't like it? No, I couldn't get my time back either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like Crazy Rich Asians, and I liked Constance Wu, and I liked her energy, and I liked her feistiness, and I think that energy and feistiness would go well with a character like Lois Lane. So I am oh, going man. for Thanks, Asian man. Lois Lane. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What about you, Martine? What? Is it your turn? It's Martine's turn. No, now. it's me again. No, I'm blessed. It's me. I get this. I get the blessed. whole. I get the whole middle of the draft apparently. So for the Jewish delegation, for the Jewish delegation, and he's not back, so I have to pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick uh, May Parker. She's gonna be a Jewish aunt. There you go. <laughs> She's from Queens. You know, hear her sing "Fiddler on the Roof" song. She's, she, you know, I'm, you know, you just throw. I, I'm going with May Parker. Whether we go with Hot May or Older May, I feel like you know, there's a, there's a lot of good energy from a Jewish May Parker, and I'm all about it. Which brings us to the white delegation. Oh, oh man, y'all, you ready for this? I'm quite happy with this one. Mm -hmm. I will be taking Queen Ramonda. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> Damn oh. you! Oh. <laughs> By Kathy Bates. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, the evil! No, 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 no. The oh, evil! At least he didn't say Uma, Uma Thurman. The evil. Roseanne Barr. Roseanne no. Barr. So the evil. Wow, Sean. No, Sean who's is... the one who plays everything? She plays all the characters. So Skyler oh, no, Johansson I'm... will play any race. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember Roseanne? You guys remember, wow, you that's, remember what happened that's with not her, right? Cool. That's not cool. Remember dude. what happened with her? I mean, you told me that. You told me to step the game up. I know, but and but then, I mean, I thought you. I didn't think you were gonna tank. I didn't think you were gonna tank the characters. At least go with uh, what's her name. Um, why can't I remember her name? Kathy she Bates? threw me off. No, the the woman who wins all the Oscars. Oh my God. Um, the women who wins Uma all the Thurman? Oscars. Uma Thurman. Meryl Streep. Yes, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Yeah, at least go with Meryl, Meryl Streep. Like, 
She's I'm she's she's still the Black Panther's yeah, mother. Meryl Streep. I I, I honestly think Black That's people think Meryl Streep. Okay, we're, 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 we're over playing. we're overruling you. No. We're overruling you, <laughs> Meryl Streep. Meryl you get, Streep. You still need Tubman. I got the queen. I got the queen. Yeah, you can no no you can still have her, but we're we're overruling you with the stunt casting. <laughs> okay. Meryl Streep. Okay, that's fine. Meryl Streep. That's we will accept it. The Af Wakandans will accept the White Queen Ramonda. And for, <laughs> all right, for the black delegation. Oh, it's my turn. It's your turn. All right. When I say somebody, do not tell me. Oh, in an alternate universe, they turn this person. Not into a superhero. Okay. Uh, we're first actually I was gonna, gonna say, say Mary Jane. Exactly what I'm gonna say. Mary Jane yeah, counts. Uh, she, in she an counts. alternate universe. Mary Jane counts. <laughs> if Mary Jane counts, I want Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Right. There it is. Not talking Mary about Jane Gabrielle Watson. Union, Mary Jane, are you? Because you know that's not. Oh. No, we're no, talking Mary Jane. Dad. Mary Jane Peter Parker's <laughs> girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's basically like the Zendaya thing for Spider Spider Man. I I'm feel I feel you. I love okay. I, I, that was that was a good good solid pick. All right. Martin, mm -hmm. the Latinx delegation. Well, uh, you picked my first choice for the Polynesian. I mean the Asian, uh, Lois Lane. But uh, my second pick is Commissioner Gordon. Ooh. Somebody uh, used Google. <laughs> no, because I had him when I originally had written for Barbara Gordon. Because her oh. name would not change at all. That was that I... was my second pick. If you guys said no to Mary Jane, but I did Google. Right. So Commissioner <laughs> Gordon. All right. Uh, the, so I, I mean, I assume he has the mustache, right? Is he yeah. Edward James almost? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would? <laughs> all right. So round two, you get you get to, you get to pick again. Uncle Ben. Know. No, 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 it's no, no, no it's, yeah. it's snake, it's snake draft. Oh, never mind. Mm. Mm. All right, yeah, Martin, who's up? Well, let's see what kind of reaction this one gets. <clears throat> oh, no, no. wrong. Oh, okay, <laughs> Amanda Waller. Waller. Amanda Waller. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Keeping her black, though. She's Afro Latina. Oh, Afro Latina, okay. Where's she I from? I like it. I like it. Where's she from? Cuba. Okay. Ooh. I can dig it. That's very solid. All right. You're up. You're up, Liz. I'm up again. You're up again. That's yeah. how this that's how this I, yeah, I wasn't able to Google fast <laughs> enough. Hold on. Can you say it? <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is this is what I was afraid of, Mike. This is my Ooh. worst fear playing out. Oh you Real people who know this shit staring at me, waving. I am racking my brain right now. So I know this right stuff quite well. Yeah. I've got to do four Ooh. characters in a row with four different ethnicities. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Oh. Gosh. I can't... I won't take a pass. Think about okay. Think about Spider Man. Think about how many characters just in Spider Man. I know, but what about what about the ones where they kill them all? Right, like his, his uncle and his aunt that killed them. Yeah, but they're still they were still there. Yeah. Oh, they still count, even though. Yeah, yeah they still count. Okay, all right then. Um, how about um, Uncle Ben? What's that his name? Yeah, it is. Oh, there. really? Yeah. So, like, a black uncle, uncle Ben? This is. <laughs> and the only thing I remember is this meme with a bunch of, like, wow. Uncle Ben's boxes wow. in the shape of a body on the floor. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. oh, in 2020, yeah. she picks Uncle Ben. Did <laughs> he <laughs> just take him yeah. off the box? I mean, guys. Uh, I mean. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's All that's right. my draft, and I'm sticking to it. With great power comes great rice. <laughs> <laughs> it's good rice. It's good rice. Rice, <laughs> rice responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben doesn't even black rice. Oh, rice, rice is at all. 
<laughs> All right, white delegation, you're up. Yo, um, let's go with Lucius Fox. Lu white Lucius. Oh, his name is Lucius, and dude. <laughs> Lucius <Malfoy. laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. Any kind of any kind of variety of white? Is he just plain plain American? Oh, I, have a, I have an actor in my I head, but I don't good. remember his name. Well, you go I first. Oh, you're Googling something. Okay, the guy who says inconceivable <laughs> in The Princess Bride, what is his name? He's also, uh, he's also the Rex in Toy Story. I love his voice. Him for Lucius Fox. You know, uh, I've never seen The Princess Bride, so I can't help what? you. What? That's inconceivable. <laughs> you keep <laughs> using that, that word. word. I don't think, I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> imagine, that, imagine him as one of the voices in the cowl. Or like Wallace a Gilbert Sean. Godfrey. Wallace Shawn. A Sean. Yeah, Wallace Shawn. Different spelling though. <laughs> Liz, did you have a did you have a casting for for Uncle Ben? What instead of? No, no, no. Or, I'm saying like uh, the black actor. Oh, a casting. Oh, a black actor. To play. Oh, okay. I'm picturing like a Mr. Gaines type character. What's his real? What's that actor's real Wait, name? Wait, you mean um, from Different World? Yeah. Oh I'm man, like, what is his name? I don't know. I, we're supposed to know. They're Lee not Myers. Know. Like that, or like a Lou Gossett Jr. type. Yeah, I could see. Actor. Yeah, oh yeah, Lou Myers, Lou Myers or Lou Gossett Jr. Really, I was yeah. thinking someone a little warmer. Like, really? Warmer. I can, That's I mean, how I see it in my head. I think they're warm in their own kind of way. It's like great power. <laughs> great power, really young blood. <laughs> that was the tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Rest but in I'm peace. ready for my next round. I got a much right. better one right. this next round. So just bring it on. Back. All right. Pick. Well, pick. well, I've got to yeah. pick. I've got to pick someone for the Jewish delegation. Whew. Hmm. I am going to go with. No, I can't do that. That would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say it. Say Follow it. Your I'm curious. Follow your heart. <laughs> No, I have to think. I have to think of the. I have to think of the ramifications of if that character were Jewish. Can't just uh -huh. you know. Um, I am. Man, it is much harder because the first characters that come to mind are characters that are, that are superheroes, and they're and they're siblings. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it really matters. I mean. Martin yeah. got Commissioner Gordon. We've all lost. <laughs> Although he's not, he's not doing shit anymore. He's off the force. No, no, he's 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 like. Oh, but who's on the force? He he's Think no because co Commissioner's back in almost back in the fold because he's anti vigilante well, no, I'm now. You. I'm telling you. Oh no! I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to. On the force. I. <laughs> I'm trying not to, you know fall directly into the bat world um i got alfred so i'm obviously right now. right you're all you're alfred's all into dead. the bat world alfred's dead. <laughs> yeah but alfred had a run he had a good run that is true um, i oh. am going to screw it i'm gonna go with lana lang all right i think you mean superwoman yeah. she's not she's not superwoman does that count? I guess it counts. She yes, she had a she had we a temporary. Can't, can't Fox, yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. She's like she she had even because she. So I'll go. You know what? I'll who I'll go with um uh this guy, Jimmy Olsen. Mm. That's a good one. Yes, and I can definitely see a Jewish Jimmy Olsen. <gasps> All right. I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm so All right. Oh, God. For the Asian delegation. For the Asian delegation, I am going to go with Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson, and you know who I'm. You know who I have in mind for Flash Thompson. Okay, 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 okay but. You mean you're talking about Agent Venom? Oh, damn it! <laughs> I keep forgetting. Like everybody, everybody in Peter's 
uh, social structure all I would like to say at this point if Liz nominated somebody and they were a superhero I would not do this to Liz <laughs> you might <Michael. laughs> yeah you're right you're right you're right I forget fair enough oh man everybody's a superhero <laughs> all right so I'm still drafting I'm still drafting Asian I'm still drafting Asian mm-hmm. hmm Sorry, 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 listeners, for all the for all the downtime. <laughs> As the person who came up with the game, I should have had. I expected more what about, people to. I can fill downtime. Liz, what about what girl. about um the girl that's not Lana Lane, but like the friend of Lana Lane in Superman that... um series or whatever? She just helps. You're talking about and Chloe. Down. You're talking yeah. about Chloe Sullivan? <laughs> yeah, Chloe Sullivan. <laughs> yes. You know what? I'm a fan of Chloe Sullivan. The character? You no, know, no, the actress. Free Allison Mack. <laughs> <laughs> From the Nivium cult. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. I was like, wait, is she in a cult? I totally yes. like, saw that on Netflix. Chloe Sullivan it will be drafted by the Asian delegation. Asian. You and, let you like that assist right there. Thank you, Kia. Thank you, Kia. Now for the You're Polynesian, welcome. for the Polynesian delegation, mm-hmm. who shall I select? Do you not have one in mind? The crow. I'm, 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 <laughs> the crow. No, no. The no, crow's no. wife. <laughs> the crow's wife. <laughs> Actually, for the native delegation, you said the crow's wife. <laughs> for the. For the Polynesian <laughs> delegation. Oh, God. He's the best sidekick ever. <laughs> I think I have someone. Wait for it. On the edge of my feet. Uh, waiting for Google results to load. Suffering. <laughs> 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 Uh, and can this thing still buffer? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, wow. No, I lost it, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, his internet's not good. <laughs> just, Here, close your eyes and just think. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> no. Hey, you know what? Why, why even give the Polynesian team one? You know what I mean? They're going to lose anyway. So next. Oh, that's not right. That's you, not right. Give them, give them Jonah. You were going to give them Jonah last time. Yes, I was. You're right. Thank you. I was going to give them J. Jonah Jameson. Why, why did you help him? He, just wanna, uh, he wants to keep the thing moving easy, along. Yeah. He wants to keep moving along. Yes, J. Jonah Jameson. Mm-hmm. He wants pictures of Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you know what? That's going to happen, though, because the native delegation never puts them out, so nobody's going to take them out. And this and the... And the um, mm-hmm. he will be played by Taika Waititi, so <laughs> right. Jake Jameson. <laughs> All right, That's so good. for the Native American delegation, hmm, another stick. No. For the Native American delegation, I am going to go with. Did you just say Bigfoot? Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, I'm just saying what you typed. <laughs> Man. There's got to be more. There's there's so many other characters. I'm going to go, well, but, you know, you the problem is that everything, every- huh? It's, oh, no. You know what? In the spirit of, in the spirit of Joaquin... In the spirit of in the spirit <laughs> of Joaquin, oh. um, who was Kyle Rayner's uh, girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know which one you're talking about, but there's been many. You're talking no, about Alexandra. I'm talking DeWitt. about. I'm talking about yes, Alexandra yeah, the, the Dewitt. Girl. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In the spirit what, of what happened to her? Uh, <laughs> she gets, uh, she gets murdered. Have, uh, doesn't she oh, have uh, yeah. a vigilante That's no, huh? wasn't no. She well, was. Did she not have a vigilante persona? No, 
No, no she gets murdered. She gets introduced <laughs> the same issue Kyle does and gets murdered a few issues later. And put in a refrigerator. <laughs> and, which is yes. Strangled, <laughs> put into that a refrigerator. That is so unlucky, Dally. <laughs> yeah. So, just just to make just in the spirit in the spirit of Joaquin, I'm putting <laughs> Alexander Dewitt in the refrigerator <laughs> for the native for the native delegation. And uh, you're up, Kia. Um, in the spirit of points, um, <laughs> Abe Sapien. I know that name. And he even has his own book. He's the guy. He's the he's the fish dude in Hellboy. Yeah, but mm-hmm. he's and well, he has his own book. Yeah, but he's, so points I winning. Feel, are, feel, he's part of a supernatural. Tactic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And no, a timeout. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I just googled. I know you did. <laughs> top, <laughs> top, top best supporting comic book characters. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't he's number mean he's a civilian. That doesn't it. mean he's a civilian. Oh. Plus, plus we're all, plus we're doing plus we're only doing big two. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what's big two? Oh, uh, Marvel, Marvel and DC. Just Marvel and okay, yeah, but any Marvel, right? Yeah, yeah, Mar- yeah. yeah Marvel, okay. and, and DC. just the cinematic universe. Right? <clears throat> And he's Palestinian and Greek. Well, no, no, you're not getting Abe Sapien. No. You're gonna have to. You're I can too. Yeah. Why not? No, no, no. 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 He's, he's, he's part here. of. He's part of the team. He's part of the but team. He's not part of the team. But he he's is. A, he's a supportive character. Yeah, supporting the team. <laughs> supportive character he's, uh, in the team. <laughs> that means like, I mean. No. Uh, That's all right. You've got time. <sighs> Google, help me. Um, all right, you know what? You know he has his own book, and I would have won. I think I think the um, fact that the character has their own book is probably a sign that the character yeah. is ineligible. <laughs> so if the character antagonizes the superhero, then they don't count. No, they can like be a villain, but they can't be a vi- a super villain. Super, so they can't have superpowers. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Jimmy Olsen was already taken, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite Jimmy Olsen story, Kia? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Technology? What? Um, uh, hold on. I, I'm trying to really think of somebody. So you're going to make me hit the Google since everyone else is playing the Google game. (laughs) No, you guys don't have to. Come on. (laughs) That's what makes it fun. Yeah, you guys don't have to. I just started reading comic books last week. Um, (laughs) Sharon Carter. I didn't realize realize you were on the podcast this week, Task. Does Sharon Sharon count? What do you think? Sharon Carter? Yeah. See, I think if Sharon counts, then Nick Fury counts, and that's yeah. That's a you do. That's a that's a it's. Uh, if Abe Sapien did they give count, Nick Fury? Abe Sapien, Sapien didn't. We didn't count Abe Sapien. I know that's what I'm saying. Like if Abe Sapien doesn't count, then okay. Nick how Fury about this? Edda Candy. Edda Candy. Edda Candy can count. Edda Candy can count. All right. Edda Candy is in the spirit of wonder. Up again, Kia. Wait. So, what's what's her background? What's her background? What's her background? Pal- pa- um, Palestinian and Greek. Okay. Do you have an actor <laughs> in mind or no? <laughs> Do you know Palestinian <laughs> Greek? I mean, <laughs> this, this is what happens when you pull that ethnicity out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. No, I can't no. think. Of all right. Um, All right. Who's next up for you? Oh, oh yeah. I get to pick two, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um. Wait, her first one was Palestinian and Greek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you Googling? Yeah. What about what about, what about the guy, Mike? The guy who plays who's the actor who plays um Oberlin Martell? Oh, it's actresses. Yeah, over at Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's ours. 
Oh, you've got him. You guys have everybody. No. What the fuck? No, no. I, he, he means the Latinx delegation. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's no. The <laughs> seven and O team. Okay. Tala, is it Tala Ashi or Zara Tomas? One of the two. Are you talking about? Are you talking about Zara? Are you just reading off Wikipedia? <laughs> are you talking about? You're talking about Zara, aka Isis, of the like love interest to. No, Debbie Day. <laughs> I'm just throwing names out. There now, now. now you really are throwing names out. I don't know. She's part of DC Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, she's that's got powers. <laughs> like... No, no, like that's the actress. I think she's yeah, throwing no, her I've... name out. Right, I know, but that's but the character that she plays oh. is Zara. AK Sorry. ISIS. Um yeah, and the, yeah. who has powers? <laughs> I mean, I don't I, this is really hard for me because I only know how to win. Um I know it's 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 making you go outside go outside only? of the box. How about Think about characters from the movie. How about Opal Tanaka? Who's Opal Tanaka? Oh, I got it. Uh, she's a from, former girlfriend of Iceman. Sure. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so are you gonna, so are you gonna make her Blasian? Is this what's happening here? Yes, Blasian for sure. Yep. Right. There you go. Bam. Got it. Done. Right there. All right. Back on me. Back on me. Again. The, Nate. Yeah, I have to pick for the Native American delegation. Um, yeah, four times in a row. I know, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to. No, pull it from deep inside. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Liz, I have a genuine curiosity. What is your familiar level like? How familiar are you with? superheroes and who is your favorite just the big ones that they do like the big blockbuster movies for and my favorite probably like an x-men like storm or rogue not x-23 i don't even know what that is <laughs> did you wait you, 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 saw, you saw the movie logan right the little yes. girl the young Wolverine. Oh, okay yeah. okay yeah yeah, yeah yes that's... i've seen all the big movies and everything else <clears throat> i have to like ask mike about Mike, why don't you tell her about the story about um, that uh, Joaquin made up about X twenty three? I mean, we can go, we can get into it, but we're 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 doing the game right now. All right, I am going with Karen Page. I'm going with Karen Page. No, 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 no. She has powers. No, she doesn't. Her power is okay. getting addicted to drugs. That's a superpower. Her and power she's is... never died. She never dies from the drugs. That's obviously a superpower. Her, her power is getting addicted to drugs and selling out Matt Murdock before she gets murdered. So once again, for the Native American delegation and someone else that gets murdered, we're... Wow, we did lean in hard. We're leaning the... all the way in. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Oh. I'm going to use something, you know, a defensive pick for the Polynesian delegation. I am choosing Arthur Curry's dad. <coughs> um, whoever that guy, that guy's name is as yeah, per, yeah. no, not the um, actor. I know the actor. I don't, okay. but, um, the, the actual Arthur Curry's, I don't actually know Arthur Curry's father's name. <laughs> Thomas, is it Thomas? Yeah, Thomas Cause Curry. Yeah, because it's we just changed it to Thomas. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> so Thomas Curry has been brought into the Polynesian delegation. He will be helping to raise Aquaman. I thought that's where you were going to go your last time around. Um, no. All right, for the Asian delegation. Wait, did um, I get skipped? No, no, no. no we're, it, it, loops, right it, loops, it loops. It loops back around. It's a snake draft. So I am going with. First off, who was before the Polynesian? Because I thought you said that was the Asian delegation. Uh, no, no, Native, Native American. American. Native American. Native American, okay. Yeah. So for the Asian delegation, 
I am going with... Hmm. 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 I am going with... Thunderbolt <clears throat> Ross. You mean Red Hulk? Yeah. Ah, thank you, my <laughs> He tried it. He tried it. Everybody gets turned into a superhero. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> as soon as um, I heard thunder, I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't think about that. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> they give everybody superpowers at some point. I'm going with Martha Kent. All right. Why'd you say that name? (laughs) (laughs) All right. For the Jewish delegation, I am going with Jonathan Kent. (laughs) All right. First and name that came up. What did you say? <laughs> First name that came up. They make a very nice couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, white delegation, who you got? I'm taking the most beautiful woman in the DC universe, Alana Strange. And she oh. will be by Eva Green. Okay. All right. All right. Alana Strange. She's uh got complicated past but all right and like oh man when they draw her in strange adventures yeah she, she looks a little she greek in that but yeah, i feel she definitely you does. but i mean she's an alien so yeah who knows, yeah. Who knows where that lineage is that works that works all right black delegation you're up all right all right mariah dillard does she count or is she not in the um, she counts. She counts because Marvel, even, right? Yeah, it's, no, she's she was in the comics as well. So yeah, yeah. All right, Mariah Dillard, that works. I have one for the next round too. I looked up and it, you know Black Mar, aka Black Mariah. I feel like it's it's right there. Oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> like, I <laughs> Wait, we it's... lost someone. Uh, Kia. Oh, yeah. She I, said she might. Yeah, so Kia, Kia will be yeah, back. She was just um, she, and, and she, she did it just like a real fantasy draft. You you take your smoke break or your pee break when <laughs> it has to loop all the way back around to you. So mm-hmm. she's got all these picks before her. So for the Latinx delegation, who you got? Perry White. Perry White's a good pick. Perry White's a good pick. Um, do you have Perry a... White. He was He's the editor of the Daily Planet. Um the yeah do you have a an actor Superman in mind work. Mm, uh... no i know see i know that much I'm not that. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> I know I <laughs> an actor in mind maybe um oh man um mm, i don't my knob off the top of my head uh that's okay that's all yeah. right all right, it's you again. You're up again. No. Uh, okay, so none of like the agents of Shield are like count, right? Um, I would say that like the ones that go on solo missions, mm-hmm. you know, like Nick Fury, Fury. Nick Jr., um, mm-hmm. Peggy. I would, I would eliminate Coulson. Quake and Mockingbird, and I think the others would be. On I don't know. Table. I think Colson. I think Colson can be. I think Colson's out. Like, I think Colson is the line. Colson leads a superhero team. He's leading the Squadron Supreme. Right no, now. is he? Is he leading them or is he supporting them? Is he the their superior officer? I would argue that he's more akin to, you know, an Alfred for them. Okay. Like he's not part. He's not out in the field. So Colson is available. Well, I wasn't going to go Colson. Um, okay. I was going to go uh, Maria Hill. Yeah, yeah. that counts. Okay. That's, that's like right like, on uh, the that's right on the line. 
yeah, if you have like, a man with Waller, you're gonna get Maria Hill. Like, yeah, if, if exactly. You get Waller, Maria Hill is definitely gonna be considered in the game. Because uh, like, uh, well, Warner Hill does a little bit more field stuff. That's the only reason that like, but mm -hmm. I think it counts. Yeah. Yeah, because like she's like a quarter Latina already, apparently. Yeah. That they they did pull her pull her all the way in. That's right. Yeah, it's like what we did with Kyle. Exactly. So, <laughs> Maria Maria Hill. Maria. Maria. There we go. Maria. Nice. Nice. That is that. Maria. So you've got Amanda Waller and Maria Hill. You got the spy game covered. And yeah. Gordon. And, and Jim Gordon. Wow. Wow. You've you, you, you're you're on on straight up cops. I just might as well just go into it. <laughs> We're either criminals or we're cops. We're one. Of <laughs> <Exactly>. you, <right? laughs> All right, you're up, Black Delegation. We're back up. Okay. Silas Stone, Cyborg Dad. Okay, you, you kept it. Yeah, I really knew home. that story. I really right. knew the story of that. I had to look up the name, but I really did know. So you kept it home. You kept. You kept. You, you, you brought him. You brought him back in the fold. Defensive <laughs> pick. I like it. I'm trying to think about who would, who I would say to play him. Why not the actor that already played him? I don't know that guy very well. That's why I'm like, who, what's his real name? I don't know that guy. Oh, well, I don't the know guy him. who played the guy who played the fault, Daddy Pope. Um, oh wait, oh no, 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 that's who plays the set. Oh yeah, yeah. he's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> like Joe Morton. No, I wanted to go with so. <laughs> Joe... You mean the famed? Yeah, exactly. Steam famed. Actor? Steam actor Joe Morton. You're gonna. I think you're good. I think you're good with. Stuff. I was gonna go with someone young and hot, like you know, like not hot like that, but hot like like popping right now, like right. Jonathan Majors or something who's big right now. But um, you know, no, I like that. I like Joe Morton. He's perfect. Yeah. Perfectly cast. Nice. All right. Yeah. All right, white delegation. Hey. Hey, Martin. What's up? Oh no. no. I'm gonna take the greatest storyteller of our time. I'm gonna take Louise. Man, Louise <laughs> from Ant Man. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. Did you? Are you picking a certain kind of white? Is he just? Uh, I have a fan cast white? in mind. I'm. I'm leaning away from the charismatic storytelling and going hard into the cringe storytelling, and it's gonna be played by Michael Sarah. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's it's like rough. That really, annoying, that really annoying white friend that just won't stop talking. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Well, he took one of the only few. <laughs> he is. Listen. Oh, beware yeah. the white delegation. They will appropriate anything. <laughs> now it's just Lewis. Lewis, exactly. Hey, Lewis. <laughs> All right. I am. I'm going with Phil Coulson for the Jewish delegation. Okay, that works. Still for, here for the Asian delegation. I'm going with Iris West. Mm. Okay, taken mm -hmm. away from the black delegation um, on the Flash television show and the may or may not happen Flash movie, but Iris West. It's now Jew. I mean, it's now Asian. Polynesian. I just, I just want to pause. It like all of them superheroes are gonna roll up to like the Justice League party, and then notice that all of them seem to have like Asian wives. <laughs> <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> That's exactly. Uh, do we, I mean, if we think about it, Iris West is kind of like three-quarter Lois Lane anyway. Mm -hmm. So it only feels right that they would have that in common. So <laughs> they're into the same kind of men. All right. So I am going to choose Polynesian delegation. This is going to be controversial. And I don't have a fan casting in mind. All right. Graydon Creed from the Friends of Humanity, noted hater of mutants. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yep. Oh. 
All right. And I don't have a reason for it. I just uh, think it would be be kind of weird to have a brown guy who is uh, need, need people would be like, what? But but but. <laughs> <laughs> And you know that that there are mm-hmm. brown people who are down with hate groups, so mm-hmm. you know you gotta gotta slide yeah, one. Yeah, one of those proud boys just got demoted. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I was <laughs> I, that that was the inspiration, you know, a, a a proud a proud boy, if you will. But I'm a person of color. I can't be racist. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to not go all the way for the native american delegation just where we've where we've been where we've been these last couple of picks I'm gonna pick someone who isn't dead <laughs> now i actually have to live up to that someone who isn't <laughs> dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> a lot of dead people in comics <laughs> Not been dead people don't stay dead. That fair point. Yeah. Fair point. I am going to pick, mm-hmm. and this is going to be controversial in another way. No, no, never mind that. Never mind that. Sorry, guys. Because I was I trying. Because if you're gonna go controversial, you can't go any less controversial than what has already been done. So go for it. Hmm. No, I'm I'm gonna go with this pick. I think this pick could work, and I think I think if, unfortunately, it's it 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 fits with something that I did before, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. I'm gonna go with Jamal Afari, the person that trained Blade, to hunt vampires. So he, instead of being black, he was already whitewashed in the Blade movie. I'm never going to let people forget that, that he was whitewashed. (laughs) But now he's going to be Asian. And he can be Whistler. That's fine. We'll call him Whistler. (laughs) We'll let let people have uh, Asian Whistler. Wait, Native Native American? Native American. Oh, sorry. Yes. You already did Asian. Yes, yes. That's right. I, you see, this is what happens when I have to represent too many delegations. I need a different, I need a different hat to put on for some. <laughs> yes, Native American Whistler. Kia has not joined us, so. So she can't just make fun skip of her. That. We'll skip her, and she'll come back when she's done her proper, <laughs> when she's done her proper googles. Uh, yes, it's back to me. Back so to me. Back to you. All right. I am going to pick. Damn for it! The Native Americans. Yeah, for the Native Americans. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am going to pick. Hmm. I mean, there's a huge one just sitting on the table that nobody has picked yet, and I'm Uh-oh. not going to pick it because it is white, and I'm not playing. I'm not playing that game today. Oh, you're playing the <laughs> takeaway oh, game. Trust me, this time, this time when I play when I play my game this season, I'm going wide up front and then hitting y'all where it hurts in the back half. Wow. Okay. Because I'm gonna kick your guys' ass in the game too this time. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta spread the wealth, Sean. You can't be the only white representative. You know, we're gonna have okay, more we'll white bring, voices. Bring bring more white representatives then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. This is we're gonna open things up in season two. So if you're a white fan, if you're a white fan and you'd like to, you know, have your your voice, I know I know this, there are not a lot of places in nerd circles where white people <laughs> have their voices heard, but if you know if you'd like a little opportunity to to speak your piece on the, as part of the racial draft, you know, holler at us. Um, so for the Native American delegation, I am going to choose. Hmm, I'm trying to think of like good, good trainers because that's a good way to go with it. Gonna mm-hmm. lean into a fam. Yeah, but that's you know, it it sort of turns into the the classic cliche of mm-hmm. of the the white hero with the Native American trainer. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I. Mm-hmm. I am going to pick man. No, I'm not going to pick that. Another. I'm not going to pick another dead character. 
I'm not going to pick another dead character. Okay, I'm going to give you a few that I've been playing mm. with. Yeah. Um, Foggy Nelson. Good one, good one. Yeah. Night Nurse. She See, I was wondering her. about Night. I was wondering about Night Nurse whether she counted. Um, she doesn't really operate as a superhero. Yeah, I'm going. Yep, Night but... Nurse works. Night Nurse is perfect. You know, she like she has a combination of like she has her medical training. She also uh, works in the community at, at the on the res. You know, yep, I'm all for it. Night Nurse, good good choice. Thank you guys. We crowdsourced it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna have to still do that for the rest of these. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're, I guess we'll, we'll wind down very soon unless we can get some more picks out. I mean, yeah. I should have told you to prep. But um, for the Asian delegation, I'm going to choose Martha Wayne. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you choose that name? <laughs> So Martha Kent and Martha Wayne, mm. both, both Asian. <laughs> Who shows up? Everybody else has an Asian girlfriend, but <laughs> like, this really does not sit well with me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all right. The Jewish delegation. Foggy Nelson, it is. Sean pick. Alright. All right, white delegation. White delegation. I don't keep thinking about my picks. <laughs> um okay. Think about it. Prominent characters of color and good roles. Pin drop. Um blah, 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 blah. what is the name of the old dude that trained Black Lightning? On that the was show? Like friends with his dad. Yeah. Oh Gan uh Gandhi. Ga Gandhi. Yeah, Gambi. Gambi, Gambi. Gambi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I'm you picked the white guy. Gambi. You Wait, he's a white guy. White? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whitewashing <laughs> foil. <laughs> foil. <laughs> All right, black delegation. All right, here's my question. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. Peggy Carter in play or does she count as yeah, we someone vetoed, special? Yeah, we vetoed her because we said that she's like, she has a show. She's like yeah. Nick Fury level, like she's solo okay. solo mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that case. <clears throat> I might tap out because now I'm just Googling shit. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, here's the I mean, thing. I if, could, if you, but if I you think, if we think about characters that are on the TV shows as well, if we expand, yeah. that, if we expand that stuff, like, you know, there's a lot more characters. Yeah. yeah. So who's the old dude that Luke Cage, like, confides in? The barber guy. That's a good question. Right, the guy one? who owns the, the barber shop. Oh, pop. 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 Pop, yeah. All yeah. right. You, you kept it home, Pop. Barbershop pop. I mean, <laughs> I mean this is the theme and everybody I'm picking, but these are the only characters that I know. So, all right. Um, all right. I'm just going to keep doing that until we get to the end. I want to yeah. do at least one more, but I think yeah, I'm, we'll do one I'm more. We're going to have one. The next round is the last round. Sure. So you get, yeah, so you still get your back, good. so you still get your back to backs. I got to get somebody white though on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So wait, oh, so who's on? Who's it on now? Oh, the Latinx team is up with their back to back. Okay. My team. Um, you know, first thing I care in my mind is Happy Hogan. Okay. I like that. All right, Happy Hogan, that works. Yeah. But now it's still me. <laughs> it's still you. I should have. I should have written these down. <laughs> um, you're recording, all right? I am recording. I can write these down later. Uh. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, man. Uh. I'm glad you guys are struggling too. That makes sense. Well, because it's the whole thing of they can't ever have been a superhero. Right. That's the, that's yeah. where it gets <laughs> dicey. Or a super villain. Every everyone eventually gets a superpower. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Uh. Damn it. Uh. 
Uh, I feel like if you start on, I feel like if you start from like incarnations of characters that you've seen in live action and work mm -hmm. backwards from there, that might help. Well, that doesn't help me that much either. <laughs> Yeah, I don't watch TV. I don't watch things. I just read the books. <laughs> no, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, one came in my mind, but I'm not gonna go with them uh, because of that whole like TV movie stuff. Um, a suggestion, and he came to my mind, but I'm not gonna go with the name. I will say after, but I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. right now. Um, uh, damn it. Cat Grant. Okay. Cat Grant, uh, big reporter, rival mm -hmm. to Lois Lane. I can dig it. Yeah. The name that came to my mind because you said, like, focus on, like, other stuff, like movies and TV. First name that came to my mind because I do actually kind of like The Flash, though, was Joe mm -hmm. West. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. All right, Liz. Liz. Black delegation, what? black delegation, you're up again. I thought you were gonna go like four more times before it came back. No, you're, you're in the, the you're in the loop. Name. I'm yeah. in the loop. Okay. You need what? You you said you want one white character. At least, yeah. <laughs> I mean, someone who's not a rare picture from black already. It's already cast. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna try not to look anything up. I'm just trying to think of. It's like trying to find one that's not a leading man, you know? Yeah, I'm going to pick the movie. Well, uh, just for other characters, maybe to help her out, does Steve Trevor count too? Steve Trevor actually is is fair game. That's Wonder Woman's love interest, the other Chris. Fine. Oh, that's Chris Pratt. Oh, can I take him? Yeah, he's fair game. I can take him. Steve right, Trevor. Steve Trevor. Steve, so that's Wonder Woman, that people like. Wonder Woman gave it gave it all up for Steve Trevor for Black Steve Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so I get to, I get to, do I get to cast like the, the yeah black you can Steve cast Pride, like a hot, like a heartthrob? You, yeah, you can cast you can cast the the, the heartthrob to be uh, the okay. Swirl King. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, who's the one who everybody loves right now? That's um. Well, that's played. <laughs> yeah, he's a, there's a lot of brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one who played um, Doctor Manhattan. I don't oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know who I want to cast? Forget that. I want to cast Aldous Hodge because I like him. Okay, and you know he's playing Hawkman, right? I didn't You're... know that. Isn't that someone else? That's um... no, it's Aldous Hodge. Oh no, I didn't know that. I yeah, he's. Him. Yeah, I mean he'll be playing Hawkman in the Black Adam movie. I've been and, watching him since Leverage. I like him. Yeah, and and, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the first one I was gonna say. Yeah. Was he, the name? Yeah. He, he played uh, okay. what's the name? He played Black Mantis in Aquaman movie. Remember? Oh no, but oh. Oh. <laughs> I know he has a big helmet on. You, you forgot. <laughs> but um, yeah, Steve. I mean, you know, if you, Trevor sounds like a brother. Maybe not Steve Trevor, but yeah, it like a Jamaican. It like a Caribbean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve Trevor. <laughs> let me see. What, let me let me see how he looks. Let me see. <laughs> All right, that works. Steve Trevor. That was a that's a solid, solid, solid civilian pick. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for the alley <laughs> I just went white guy and just like he's still on the board. <laughs> All right, for okay. me, for the for the uh, uh, oh no, the white delegation. You. Sorry, it yeah. Lose you. <laughs> uh, I actually had this one like it was one of the first things that popped in my head, and then I forgot about it. Mm. But then you guys started talking about TV again and brought it up. Turk Barrett. Oh damn! He's Not the Turk criminal Barrett. that's in. He's the criminal that's in all the Netflix. Yes, MCU. I know. I know Tur Turk is that Turk I, is that dude. I was explaining it to other people. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that dude. He's he's the thing that united the universe. <laughs> yeah, he was the Colson of. Uh... Oh, I see what you did. Rob there. Morgan was the actor that played Turk Barrett. Um, that's that's a good solid pick. And I could. Do you have a stunt casting? I mean, stunt casting. I do. do you have a fan casting um, in mind? 
his I what is his name? He was in Runs for Moon Knight for a bit, but Oliver Cohen. He's okay. in the seasons of The Haunting of Hill House slash Bly Manor. I just like his look. He he he's he's swarmy. He's very like he's a thief in the second show. Yeah. And he just pulls it off so well. He's so charming. Turk, yeah, you see, I don't think of Turk as charming. No, I think of him as a little a little bit more like you know, it gives you a vibe. But he, he's constantly like talking, getting out of situations by talking. That's sure. charm. Okay. Sure. Oh, this is for, for fancy comics league purposes. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's charm. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So I am going with the Jewish, for the Jewish delegation, I am going with Justin Hammer. Mm, solid. All right. so, solid. Doing a dance. <laughs> um, for the Asian delegation. Wait, are you going to cast him? Or are you going to just move on? See, I actually, I don't think Sam Rockwell is actually Jewish. Um, so I'd have to find an actor, like, and I'm not, I don't have one off, like, at, offhand at the tip of my tongue. Offhand. Um... For the Asian delegation, I am going with this. Can, this sort of can be a two for one, but I'll just pick one. I'm gonna go with Harold Meacham. The people who were Iron Fist, who were running the Rand Corporation mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. Danny came back. For the Polynesian delegation i am going with this always always jams me up it's a four in a row that that gets me <laughs> I like oh that was almost exclusively shifted into the netflix shows <laughs> no here this was one that i was holding on to for a while and i'll bring it up right now okay moira mctaggart she counts. She counts. Yeah. Polynesian, Polynesian Moira. Okay, I'm I'm there right. for it. And for Native American, for Native American, gotta make it count. Gotta make it strong. I just thought of something. <laughs> I mean, share, share. Yeah, might as well throw it out. Yeah. When Stacy that didn't become Spider Gwen. <laughs> No, but that's the one that died. <laughs> we can't do it again. We can't do it again. I'm sorry. That one kept <laughs> popping up. <laughs> that one kept popping up, and I was like, no, we can't do that. Um, I am going with... And you let me know if this counts or not. I, I am going I with <laughs> I am going with uh, Frigga, Thor's mother, but not from the MCU, from the comics. She doesn't die. Okay. All right. I mean, you want to hear some heartbreaking news? What? During War of the Realms, I drafted her as part of the Fantasy Comic League. Did she score? Did yeah, die. she was a huge part. No, in War of the Realm, she was a huge part. She like went okay. to the other side and like destroyed Malekith's portal, and she led a team with like Blade and She Hulk. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I guess then I guess she doesn't count. I guess she's not eligible if she was draftable. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'll, I'll I'll do better. I'll do better. Um, that would have been cool though. That would have been cool. Like a. Yeah, Taking a Nordic mythology character and recasting them with Native American roots. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Mm. So I am going to go with the wizard from Shazam. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can do that? Yeah, I mean, he's not a, he's like a side character, right? Mm-hmm. So he's the one who gives a uh, our old, our old friend, uh, Latinx Shazam, mm -hmm. the, the different, 
the different do you remember the gods offhand? Sibu, uh Fuitsi, Lipochli, uh Apoca Tepo, I think, uh, or something. Um Z Zaxima Zaximu uh Apu and oh, I'm doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the end. It's met it's, it's like me something I god damn it. <laughs> Let me well, pull it up. That's, you still get a you still get a round of applause for knowing five of the six Shazam name acronyms. I had to look up gods. All the <laughs> this guy came up with a Shazam, a Latinx Shazam, and also did the research for indigenous and Mexican gods, and that was amazing. You should you need more credit for that. Uh, yeah, I got I gotta pull up. Okay. Uh, Miklan Pache Kato. Wow. The A was Axin. Apocotepo was like another name that potentially came up, but didn't mm-hmm. make it. Yeah. So yeah, Sibu, <laughs> Huichilipochli, At, Axin, uh, Xaximi, Apu, and Miklan Pache Kato. Baka Pache Kato. Yeah. All right. And since Kia is not here, I guess I have to pick four Kia for the multiracial <laughs> delegation. <sighs> we can just I, again. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we'll 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 we have two more opportunities to come up with some some more jokes. Okay. Um I suppose I will pick uh does he count? Who? Z- Who? Um is it, it wait, why well, can't I remember his name? Zur not Zuri. Um Sorry. The guy who Forrest Whitaker played in Black Panther. Oh. Hmm. We're all going now. <laughs> the black. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. It is Zuri. <laughs> the, the power the of, the, power of the, the multiracial panther. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're they're a welcoming community, clearly, with a white Zamunda <laughs> and a multiracial Zuri. It is mm-hmm. all right. Yeah, um, that's a good one. And Ooh. last but not least, since we, since she started with Alfred, she's going to mm-hmm. end with Jarvis. All right. But this Jarvis will be. Uh, half white, half Jamaican. <clears throat> Jamaican Jarvis. Mm-hmm. Man, Avengers like Thanksgiving <laughs> gonna be the place <laughs> to be. <laughs> Avengers and Justice League Thanksgiving. The potluck. Yeah, sure. The potluck is gonna be so lit. <laughs> meeting against each other. J- Jarvis and Alfred are just like having a competition. <laughs> Well, hopefully you guys had a, had a blast with that. I, I had fun. I had fun trying mm-hmm. to uh, pick these characters off the top of our head. Maybe in, in other weeks we'll we'll try to draft other like random random things. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know what? Since this, so this was all preamble. Mm-hmm. For, we still have some second season business. Second season business. As you know, the number one pick for season two. The Asian delegation. Yeah, and it's going to be Batman again. <laughs> and the number eight pick is the black delegation. I hope they oh. do better. How <laughs> typical. <laughs> so we are now selecting. Eight <laughs> but you do get the wraparound. So. Yeah. And yeah, then you know. take it. Take it from someone who has been in that wraparound situation. We finished in third. You could have finished in second. You were, you were very close. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, we we God, are picking for the Batman. seventh spot. If it's if it's white and black back to back again, oh, it's Jewish. Laugh. The Jewish delegation. No, no. This is. Oh, I'm sorry, just I thought, you Jewish just delegation. Okay. Going into the cup. Brandy. <laughs> the white delegation. Going into the cup. The Polynesian delegation. Going in the cup. The multiracial delegation going in the cup. 
Latinx delegation going in the cup. The Native American delegation going in the cup. The multiracial delegation will be in the seventh spot. Oh, seven? Okay, thank you. Oh, God. the reverse. Uh, the seventh. I was like, if it was going to be second, I was going to not be happy. <laughs> so, Kia will not be happy to come. She will, Which makes my me guess, happy. my guess is that she's going to allege that this was an illegal, this was an yeah. illegal <laughs> uh, not raffle. legal vote? <laughs> not <laughs> legal votes. And, uh, we need demand, to count. demand a uh, recount. <laughs> like, I saw him put in a what he said was a W, but was it's actually going to be affidavits M. involved. In actual M. <laughs> how, do we, how do we know it wasn't an upside down M? I mean, upside down W. <laughs> there it is, guys. So we've now selected three of the orders for the for the um, second for second season. That, but that doesn't mean that we will not potentially because we still have a couple weeks before season two we may yeah. open things up to other delegations if you're part of one not part of one of the eight delegations and you'd like to hear uh your delegation represented in the racial draft let us know and we'll yeah. consider adding you in i could see i could see the asians splitting into different i believe the delegations. delegations the asian delegations could be split yeah. and and that would be an interesting conundrum hmm. but um Speak, you know, if you're part of, you know, if you're South Asian and you like your own delegation, let us know. Hit us up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to study and get a little more informed. I will be much more ready for season, for season two. Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, listen, we. we going to be binging on comics. You know, I, I we, we did have some some strong picks. We had um domino was 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 a was a pick for the black delegation mm -hmm. but uh maybe a little bit early yeah. very very early yeah. <laughs> um in the in the draft uh area but i'm looking forward to to the shake up i think that things are gonna maybe definitely gonna go differently now that now that the multiracial delegation is in a different spot and who knows where where everything will shake out just, but, I'm just glad we're gonna go before them. Are you so are you gonna you're gonna try to snipe them? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never that, right? Um but yeah, I mean I don't have a lot more as far as like racial draft business. If you guys have anything you wanna, you know, last little bit of season one trash talk or look ahead to some season two trash talk. Things are gonna be a little bit different. Maybe I'll run down very quickly uh, how things will be different in season two. Mm -hmm. Um as far as for the listener's perspective, it's not gonna be that much different, but there's gonna be some some changes in terms of uh, limits, um, uh, time limits for for when the picks come in. Um, we're also one. We're also gonna be limited to just Big Two, just Marvel and DC um, this mm -hmm. time out. Um, the other thing uh -huh. is that we are going to. Oh, like I said before, we're gonna open things up with more voices. So mm -hmm. the 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 office of the captain uh, has been abolished, and it will be representative. So instead of it being thought of as as kind of an authority where you you get to run it your your tight ship, um, if you're you know the the idea is to listen to the voices of the rest of the delegation, and be the spokesperson for the delegation rather than be the one who is steering the ship. Mm -hmm. um, Liz, since you weren't part of the first season, do you have any questions? Maybe there are things that I'm not thinking of. I have a ton of questions. <laughs> um, no, this was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I was very nervous, guys. I don't know <laughs> shit about comics. <laughs> I think I did all right. Yeah, and hopefully it was fun for the listeners as well um, to listen to all of our different perspectives and where we're coming from. And no, you know, I, I do have questions, but I'm going to ask you offline because I don't want to. Well, at least ask at least ask one that I can answer that maybe uh, would be good for a first time listener. Okay, so if someone wasn't listening to all the other ones, how are you assessing the points that you're giving to each? 
right so the way that we typically do it is oh that you're right thank you for reminding me one thing that we are adding this year what I'm is <laughs> thanks one thing that we are adding this year is we're going to add a um a fan component as the draft picks are are, are happening so one mm -hmm. thing that i didn't mention before but it comes up is we have we have a, a poll thing that we do if you come on the show before the before the round you you have the option to propose you have the option to propose characters up to four characters oh, um that that the fans will decide will be your draft pick for that round so that's one fan uh component that we that we incorporated okay. for season one but the other thing that we're going to incorporate in season two is every pick's going to get scored by the by the by the fans um they're going to get you're going to get a uh, i haven't figured out how the exact scale is going to work but mm -hmm. it's going to be probably um like dislike strongly strongly like strong dislike and um you know you'll you'll be somewhat amenable to the real time feedback of of your picks it it won't be part of your official score but it'll be something that you'll be aware of um you know the feedback from the poll of what what people think of your pick so that's one element that's going to be present and we'll we'll go in and we'll see like how many of your picks got favorables versus unfavorables um the other thing that we do is at the conclusion of the draft uh sean over here he runs uh sean give us the plug fantasy comics league all right so the system that we use to rank the heroes is the fantasy comic league that came up with the me and this guy brian in 2014. it's been a few years now um but basically, we read the comics as they come out week to week. So I'd be reading everything Marvel puts out, everything DC puts out. And if Batman appears in a comic, he gets a point. If he appears in a comic and he leads the team, he's getting another point. So leads the team, use of powers, of which there are quite a few, saving civilians, defeating antagonists, um, teaming up with people. Like There's a variety of categories that they score in. And we do that from cover to cover. Just right. within that week, right? Right, just within yeah. that week. Yeah. So what so like when we regular fans. Right. So when we did this, you know, our head to head showdowns, it yeah. was based on the Fantasy Comics League scoring system. Mm -hmm. You know, Very so cool. so yeah, I mean, I know you guys have some big things planned for twenty twenty one in terms of new seasons and new drafts. So head over to fantasycomicsleague.com if you wanna uh, play along with that. Um, we may, we, we've talked about it, but we may do a kind of like big tournament um, using the Fantasy Comics League system if you guys wanna pick characters and play along with our captains. Can I ask you a question then? Sure. Cause this sounds like a somewhat expensive new hobby. How much is it costing you to buy these Things. <laughs> we definitely need to talk need about more expenses. <laughs> we definitely need to talk about that offline. However, if you'd like to support our Patreon, <laughs> yeah, Patreon, yourself, Patreon. <laughs> because I've been doing this for six years, I've started putting it on my resume, and I've started putting the I don't get paid, but I put the expenses of the comics a month on what I get paid because that's essentially this is a job I'm getting paid in comics. Um, yeah like $1,300 a month. What? Just reading Marvel in DC. You say the number again, because I don't think I heard you right. Like $1,300 a month. A small month, the smallest month I've like calculated was like $975. The most I calculated was like $1,292. That's like more expensive than my skincare. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was expensive to be a woman. So why don't you plug the Fantasy Comics League Patreon, Sean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you need it. Somebody give this dude some Fantasy money Comics. for his comic books. Um, we have a Please. couple tiers. One of our tiers is, I think it's just two bucks, just two bucks a month. And you get eligible for a draw that involves a lot of comics because we buy everything physically and then we take the digital code and we keep the digital code. And then we give away the physical comics. And that's something we're going to be relaunching in 2021. So if you support our Patreon with two bucks, you're getting eligible for a monthly draw. That's like, if you want comics, this is a good way to get comics. There you go. What else? What is the other Patreon tiers? Um, we have a tier in which 
you, I think it's $10 and we make cards for the system. And then we also have a upper scale tier that is essentially what Michael is doing, where he's using the system, but he's creating his own system with it. We are just the framework in which he is building his game off of. So it's basically like fantasy managing um, for fantasy sports leagues. You know, you put your team together, you create your own rules, and they'll they'll do all the scoring, and they'll send you yeah. the cards for the scoring on a weekly basis and on an end of season basis. Which and how much reminder, <laughs> we need cards for this last season, Sean. <laughs> I'm not the card guy. I'm I'm the reads everything and argues with people guy. <laughs> Another thing that we're going to hopefully get from Sean, since Sean's here, um, maybe some pre, maybe some instant analysis of the characters in the previous round in terms of in terms of uh, projected scoring. I mean, like I said at the front, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman—that's the Holy Trinity. You want them. Uh, yeah. Having played this system, I think you should lean towards the DC side. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not telling you. you don't tell people who to pick. I'm just saying that after they've made their picks, give <laughs> give scores based on based on their projected scoring. What do you mean? Like, if somebody picked a character? Yeah, I'm saying. All right. So, for instance, let's say let's say we drafted our our fifth round, like you know, and. And Kia drafted Cyclops, and Martine drafted Aquaman, mm -hmm. and uh, the white delegation uh, drafted uh, Flash, and the black delegation drafted Doom. And you, for each of those picks, you could you could say this character is projected to score X amount of points in the next month. This character has scored um, X amount of points in the last month. Yeah, it's hard to do that because by the time our draft ends, oh no, I, right. so oh I know, I know. I You're I you wouldn't be projecting for the season. You would just be projecting, oh, projecting for right for when that yeah exactly for when that pick was made. Okay. You know, and and so in, in fact, to, we should do something like if once everybody gets their picks, then just be like, okay, well, then like break it down into like three colors. Green are for sure gonna get you a lot of points. Red might get you some points, and blue ain't gonna do shit. I mean, yeah, if you want to do it at the end of the draft, but you want to do round by round, I think it would be good just to have, you know, for the listeners and for the people doing the draft to kind of get that That's again. What I'm saying. I thought, yeah. the, the, the eight characters would be that round. Yes, so I'd be yes, comparing exactly. Them to each other rather than just being like, oh, Doom's projected to do this. Because I can't really speak to, the, like, in this month, yeah, but like, like. No, yeah, but you can week, speak to the, the last month. Advice, like, you can speak the to the last I get. Oh, you want like statistics. Yeah. Like you, stats, want to be like, eh? like, you want to be like, well, Doom's predicted to get like 4.6 points in appearance kind of thing. Right. It's like Doom, like, like the thing that I thought about is that, you know, you know, over the last however many months, how many appearances the characters had and how many points the character scored. So you can say this character scores X points per appearance and this character is projected for three appearances in the next month, you know, okay, and something like that. Not to obviously like any fantasy analysis, it's all conjecture at a, on a certain level, but there at least is some. But you're talking about doing this on a public platform, like let's say a pick is announced on Twitter, and then we do a, a retweet or a following tweet that's like, here's the statistical data based off that. Exactly, and that's another way to promote the fantasy comics league because yeah, it has I, the. I'll get. I have the fantasy comic league like. I have the login for Twitter, so I could do that from the actual page. All right. So, inst be... so you know, follow Fantasy Comics League, F Fantasy Comics LG on Twitter, right? Yeah. Uh, so follow them on Twitter for those kinds of updates. Of course, follow Racial Draft Pod on Twitter. Uh, also, uh, hop on our Facebook group and our Facebook page, uh, Fantasy Comics. No, sorry. So you see, you got me plugging. I mean, plugging your site, um, racial draft, racial draft on Facebook. There's also racial dot draft on Instagram. Every now and then, we get some art in. Uh, our official artist, uh, Eli, has been making some masterpieces mm -hmm. with our reimagined oh, characters. Okay. So, uh, Kia, you'll be happy to know that uh, 
while you <laughs> while, while you were out. Uh, while you were out, I, I picked two characters for you in the in the uh, not in the civilian draft. While you were at Mar-a-Lago, we did the vote. So. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What and what were these two picks? Uh, the first pick was uh, Zuri from the Black Panther. Did Black Panther? Um, okay. All right. I don't hate it. Um, he's uh he's he's biracial, but African biracial, and in South yeah exactly he's yeah perfect. <laughs> and then the <laughs> and then 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 we picked Jarvis, but he's Jamaican, Jamaican and 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 uh, biracial Jamaican. You guys got really black on me. <laughs> I mean, that's a whole lot of blackness on my team. Oh, oh. oh you missed you missed uh, Steve Trevor was drafted by the black delegation. Yeah. Yeah. We took him. <laughs> yep. We captured him. him in our image. That's right. So Wonder Woman Wonder Woman Wonder Woman gave it all up, gave up the Amazon life for for, for the BBC. <laughs> uh, that's great because the only thing that was white in her anyway was thin <laughs> on my team oh, all Wonder right. Woman on my team was everything but white because of Sean's mm-hmm. blade Do you wanna... and and I, I guess I should also mention that yeah. we, we did the drawing for we did the, the drawing match. for the uh, for the draft order yeah that's what I was talking about <laughs> um, so, so we picked the seventh pick And the seventh pick, the seventh pick is multiracial delegation. Yo, you no, I did not physically <laughs> see you do that shit. No, 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 no. I did not see you physically do that. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't believe it. Uh uh-uh, try again. Try the fuck again. We called it. No. Hell to the no. No, I did not physically see that. You know the rules. You know, you have to. I, I need video footage. You recorded the whole shit. Uh uh-uh, uh, I need to see that. Let me see it. I mean, I can't show you the footage right now while we're recording. Uh, you can send it to me right now. I and mean, you can see me every every week. It's week seven. <laughs> yeah, even though you started like two weeks ago. <laughs> but, but, but you're taking, remember, you're taking a step back from the, uh, you know, since you're, you you will always be the season one champion. The the um, oh. what was it? The mother of mother of drafting. Yeah, the Kia Lisi. <laughs> Kia Lisi, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah it's he, true. Like Shep is probably going to be taking my spot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you'll just be f- from the sidelines, being able to look down, look down at any pick and tell, that, and tell him how he ruined the team. Yep. <laughs> you hear that Shep dog? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what happens when you're like in the Navy or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just sink things. So, Liz, do you have? Did you have any more questions about season two? No, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where do I need to start to win? Like, where where does one start when you don't know anything? Uh, well, I'll, I'll give you the secrets, Liz. <laughs> you know, okay. I'll, I'll let Come you know how to win. Season. Like, do I just start with like the newest comic book from that week? Should I go back? No, and no characters you expect to show up a lot. Like the character you're picking for has to show up more than just a month. Uh, you, you know, know? what? Oh, you probably should have listened, Sean. Know. Since like, what, what, where did you come in? What place did you come in, Sean? What, what place did you come in? Even though you like look at character, uh, look look at books every single week. What, what place? I came in fourth, but I, I might just go with vibes. <laughs> You should I go with. You should definitely vibes. go with vibes. But, yeah, if you yeah. if you go with vibes, you'll be like those people Duty. always win. The people who don't know, it's like the person in the football like <laughs> office <laughs> pool that doesn't know anything about football who wins. It's always well. So, I didn't go with vibes though. Like I really didn't. There was actual method to my madness. Yeah, it was yeah. people that everybody me? knows. No, yeah. it was called. Right. It was called. I googled. I I actually looked to see what books were coming out in a couple months when it actually was going to count, not what was going on then. Yeah, but that reminds me. There's one more tweak. You're welcome. There was one more tweak to the system that it's very important. Um, so, I don't. So it looks like I'm the only one here who plays fantasy sports. So there's a format. There's a format called best ball, 
where oh, essentially yeah. where essentially your top um, lineups will always be chosen under this format. So even though you're going to be drafting 12, 12 rounds, only nine of your only your top nine characters will score. So if you want to make a pick that's purely for vanity reasons, purely for story reasons, purely for ego reasons, just because to right or wrong, as it were, um, <laughs> you you don't have to worry about the cost of that character from a week to week basis because you have a little bit of leeway. In but you, terms are you talking about football, right? Football fantasy. No, no, I'm talking about for 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 this fantasy comics league scoring. Whoa, 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 no. Don't tell no. Let them all like come on. Let let them play their game and get them pumped up about the stories again. I just think <laughs> it's important just to, to have them. to have a balancing of the kind of characters that you're drafting because you want points. Yeah, you should but kind you're, of characters. you're just the you're just the moderator. You can't you can't tell them how to do their thing. You got to let them you got to let them learn. I learn and try it out. The first season was a learning process and mm -hmm. hopefully some lessons were learned. Hopefully. <laughs> I highly doubt yeah. it. But I think it was important yeah. to I think it's important to tweak the system because I don't want people to I don't want everyone to play the exact same way. Where's the fun? Yeah, because you're gonna get the same characters over and over, right? Yeah, you see if, if the only thing same people think favorite. about is, oh, I gotta draft Batman every year, then you know, obviously but you, you should put, obviously you should <laughs> <laughs> I, I like trying to figure out like, yeah, no, no, that's really uh yeah, good strategy. But I mean, maybe you should maybe you should say like whoever's on your team the previous season can't be mm. back on your team. No, I don't want to do it that way. But here's the thing. Like, why guys. not? Because especially considering the Asians are going first. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here, here's, the, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> guys, you don't remember how this game was played. It's been so long since we drafted. What do we do? What do we do when we want someone when we don't want someone to draft a character, guys? What do I'm we do? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Batman stay tuned stay people. tuned for the pre-draft show <laughs> when when people <laughs> when people pick their poll picks <laughs> as i make 12 twitters <laughs> so just a reminder that pre-draft show will be two weeks from today that's right thanksgiving weekend after you're after you're fat off of turkey or whatever you're eating like come come join us here and try to block try to block batman <laughs> you got it <laughs> to get batman. Ready. <laughs> the whole first round is going to be people campaigning for batman <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really hope like Batman's everybody's focus, and then I get like second pick, and I'm just like, okay, Wonder Woman. <laughs> that was gonna be what out. I was gonna tell Shaq to do. <laughs> so, yeah, this the strategy is gonna be gonna be very fun this this time out because we have people who've who've played a little bit and they know they they know how to how to subvert the process. Looking at you, Latinx delegation. You always came on the show when you were the last pick of the round. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to screw people over, making backdoor deals. Okay, it wasn't Martine, but we know yeah. who it was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The mother of uh, drafting. <laughs> I have a question. Are there trades? Are there voluntary trades? So I so 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 we so I've I've been thinking about this. We actually had a show a couple of weeks ago where we talked about trades. Mm -hmm. So um, I think what we will do yeah. is offer. So I think what we'll do is we'll have while the draft is ongoing, trades are possible. Mm -hmm. at, while the draft is ongoing and a week after the the draft ends, trades are possible, but trades can be vetoed by a majority of the non uh, the non drafting parties. Mm -hmm. 
So if so, you, trades can be proposed and mm -hmm. potentially made, but they you know, but they can be vetoed. And the the important thing is that when it's all said and done, you can only still have your team of twelve. Mm -hmm. So let's say you did a two for one, mm -hmm. you may that may mean that you'd have to forfeit uh, one of your picks towards the end of the draft to make up for the fact that you've done a two for one earlier in the draft. You know what? Maybe, maybe, you know what, Liz, I might hmm. be on the black team next, next, uh, <laughs> I you might, to... what are you changing allegiances? This is, this I, is, I, a... mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. Oh, Joe Joe Manchin, you know what it is. Uh huh. <laughs> Black and Jewish, black and Jewish, black and Jewish. Okay. Um, but yeah, I might I might do that. Maybe just to prove a point that whatever team I'm on will win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you want to be part of the... the, the, the... Well, Liz is running it because we fired the other... Am I running it? Right? I went from my no. first podcast yeah, to Liz... running the black <laughs> team. Yeah, Liz is running it. No, Liz is not running it. Yeah, we're firing yeah. them. <laughs> we're firing <What>? them. <laughs> No, we're firing those other dudes. Uh-uh, women power. Don't discriminate. Liz is running it. I didn't ask to be a part of this. <laughs> I would, but it's I, I, would say, like I didn't to, ask to right, be a part I would, of this. I would like to hear the race for this narrative. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be removed from this narrative. <laughs> if Annie was on, she'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where did Annie go? Uh, she probably to sleep. Yeah. Any orphan us. But no, yeah, I'm 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 glad I'm glad you're aboard, Liz. I'm you know you you know you're welcome anytime to be part of these shenanigans. Nice. This is this is sort of like sixty percent of the level of shenanigans we get up to. If you can imagine. I know. I was actually good today. I just want to point that out. Thank you. But um, I suppose it's time <laughs> to wind it down. We've been going at it for a little bit. Uh, yep. Anyone have any uh, final words that they want to want to come through with? As we, John, why did you just write penis in the chat? <laughs> why did I just write penis in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. You're in the, you're in the back. You're, you're a couple weeks back. <laughs> we're we're gonna have some fun shows um for the next couple weeks before we lead up to i guess i guess it's our our buffer show next week before the season two preview episode everyone's looking forward to it okay. but um and then once the next episode when's the first episode january the first episode of season two uh no december december um okay the, yeah, first week in December, December seventh, I believe. Okay. Let me look. December sixth. What's the most important show for people to be at the pre the pre game show or the first episode? So the first episode will. Oh yeah, you're right. Thank you for for reminding me. Thank you for reminding yeah, me. That's what, Sorry. That's what I so. Who <laughs> That is a very good point. No, the week of the sixth is when the first is when the first show I mean sorry is when the first round kicks off. So it's the show on the sixth. The show on the sixth is the one where we will preview where we will preview and where everyone will have the opportunity to to uh, make their to make their poll picks in oh, lieu wait, so of the in day. the week of the sixth. So the the sixth episode. So there's I'm some... putting in some ringers. Don't worry. <laughs> so but here's the thing oh. you know some people may not want to put in poll picks right you know they may they may want to just wait for for their their time to come around and, and get the character that they want that's the, yeah. the down you see the risk here's the risk there's and i should mention this as well because it's structurally is how it works if you if you pick a poll then whoever wins the fan poll will be the character that you draft. Um, if okay. if two people pick the same character in their various polls, then there's a runoff poll. 
and then the uh, the losing team of the poll has to have their their choice chosen by the winning team of the poll from the other from the other poll okay. choices that's another wrinkle that we're putting in there so if you put Deadpool, if you put Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. so yeah, if you put four <laughs> so if you put four okay. that was a one-time thing here you can't do that i again. know because i thought outside the box I well, thought it, all, the, all the rules <laughs> that's also because it was deadpool because deadpool's yeah you know fourth wall breaking however mm -hmm. so, so so but but so let's say you said i'm going to pick a poll of superman batman wonder woman and spider-man and all of those other characters were beaten uh get beaten by you by sorry if all of those other characters appear in other people's polls and you end up with no character then i have to pick the character for you and mm. probably not going to help you out. Mm. So you have to so be careful in that respect as well. Try not to fill your poll with characters that are going to both um be be beat your character and then also leave you with no characters to be chosen. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain amount of strategy with the poll thing, poll blocking as it were. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> So, don't want to get your poll blocked. <laughs> who has a bigger poll? <laughs> yeah, it's all about it's all about who can bring more people to the poll. <laughs> I got a ten point lead in my poll. <laughs> <laughs> What's so. up, Sean? What's up? <laughs> but yeah, we'll. I, yeah, I think it. I think this is gonna be. Maybe we'll just have a whole round of people. Maybe we'll have a whole week of people campaigning. For their Batman poll, because I feel like everyone's gonna want to <laughs> gonna do yeah. a Batman poll. Yeah, <laughs> I think it only. But, well, I mean, right now we have right now we have four representatives. Obviously, not captains anymore, but representatives. Okay, maybe I'm slow. Mm -hmm. If the Asian delegation goes first, right? Yeah. That means that they just get to pick Batman. But is there a way to get him before they pick him? Yeah, you put him in yes. the poll. Yes. Do the yes. polls. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, oh, right. So I should have mentioned that any character that you put in a poll is uh, blocked from being drafted being... in that round, in only that round. Right. So, right. so the poll runs from the poll runs to that Saturday of that week. Uh, which is the the round runs from Sunday to Saturday, so Sounds when like he Batman White, <laughs> yeah. So when the round oh, yeah. ends, whoever wins the poll is that draft pick. So it gets retroactively um, put in, and then those and then those other characters that didn't win the poll are released to be drafted in the next round. Okay, well this is perfect timing. I got to tap out. So. All right. Yep. It was nice meeting you all. See you <laughs> next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let me clarify that poll thing one more time because this is a little bit of a wrinkle and I know that there's going to be a lot you, more poll strategy. You know when they talk about like the Xbox and they're like, you can play the Xbox Series X games on the Xbox 360 <laughs> and the Xbox One and even the Xbox Series X and I'm like, that's a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> that's the poll. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, the the main the main focal point on the poll is that you definitely want to make sure that you've got support if you're gonna if you're gonna try to do a poll challenge. If you if you you know or you gotta you're gonna have to campaign, you're gonna have to be on Twitter, getting getting support. Um, I haven't decided whether we're gonna have the put the poll on the blog site as well, because that was a lot of work. Um, but, but I probably will. So it'll be two polls, <laughs> two polls, and um, but yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about how the specific, we'll talk about the specific mechanism of of how the poll will work when we when we get closer to season two. But think about that. Think about what what how much you want to. Um, I may. Yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my commissioner power here and there and make sure that it's not too many polls at the same time 
but for this for this week for for for, for the first round i know how important i know how important the uh the the bat blocking yeah commissioner forden <laughs> Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> but um yeah, I think that was good. I think I think so spend some time pondering. Um you can always start if you want to you want to start poll campaigning now. That that's fine. Ron, maybe now you have an in- incentive to come on the show, huh? Huh? <laughs> All, all the all the uh, representatives from the delegations that have never showed up on the show. Honestly, I think Ron might be a Russian bot just tampering <laughs> with uh, the voting process. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is good, guys. So think ahead, season two. Think about the different strategies that you want to use. Think about how you might want to shore up your base. Get out there. Get out the vote. Still. You know, our election is over, despite what certain people say. Um, <laughs> I'm just glad Trump won. You know. Mm, I thought you were the president, Kia. We we did all this talk about how how you know. I did this... write myself in. <laughs> yeah. But still. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you to give a victory speech. Let's, but we'll save it for next week. Yeah, this next week. Next week. Fellow, uh, fellow, you can give a state of the, state of the union address. <laughs> All right, guys, this was great, but I definitely still have to get some, do do some editing. Mm-hmm. But until and next, and you also have to do that OnlyFans stuff. Of course, uh, yeah, uh, racial draft at OnlyFans. It's slightly different <laughs> content. Slightly different content. Um, He'll show his poll. <laughs> <laughs> Whole lot of poll work. Whole oh, lot of poll work. work. Yeah. Um, yeah, the multiracial delegation works a little differently there. Martin shakes <laughs> his head as he like as he signs up. He's like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, all for the poll. I mean, the racial draft. <laughs> all right, Kia. Since it's the season finale, you get to say the magic words. <gasps> As the mother, <laughs> as the mother always says, all things are possible. <laughs>